A beautiful blonde sits on the bed. She tells the main character to stop pretending. Another girl behaves just as flirtatiously with him. He lies on the bed. The girls flirt with him, licking him, asking him to wake up. He thought, where did these beautiful girls come from? He must be sleeping, right? But everything feels like reality. He opened his eyes and said to the beauties, he was already awake. Stop licking him. It tickles. Oh no, it really was a dream. There was a monster before his eyes. He shouted for the monster not to come, grabbed a stone, and threw it at the monster's head with all his might. Let him go to hell. The main character's name is Chu Guang, and he is trying to survive in a post-apocalyptic world. Initially, he came to the western lands in search of food or scraps. He didn't expect that after a short rest he would find himself in such a situation. Chu Guang was breathing heavily. Thank God the two-headed hyena is not very strong, and it seems that she has fallen behind. It's already getting dark. Moving around in this world infested with monsters is too dangerous. The best solution would be to return to base, even if you have to go hungry. He ran towards the base. It was an abandoned hospital, as well as shelter number 404. From the outside it looks shabby, but in fact there are a lot of useful items inside. The door opened. The robot assistant named Seven spoke. The master finally returned. He drove in circles around Chu Guang, saying that the gentleman had been away for too long. He had a task to complete. Chu Guang asked the robot, can this calm down? He was only gone for half a day. The seventh is a robot assistant living at the base. What does Chu Guang do? Runs this place. It belongs to him, and it's a relatively safe refuge in these wastelands. There are also supplies here, although there is not much left, but it will be enough for a while. Naturally, as an administrator, he has his own range of responsibilities. One of them is the use of the earthly internet to attract people called players to this world. This is necessary to restore the territory. Chu Guang moved here five months ago, and this job is just perfect for him. Without further ado, let's get started with your plan to grow onions in the wasteland online. Would they believe that there was a game that was indistinguishable from the real world? In a chat, user Svet wrote that the company that recently hired him is developing an exciting hyper-realistic virtual reality game. Another user asked if this is true. He already wants to play. The third wrote that for a second he believed the light. One of the chat participants wrote that if such technology really existed, it would definitely be used for something other than a game. On Earth, in the men's dormitory, a student was sitting in front of the monitor screen. He thought that this light had probably outplayed the games. If such technology really existed, the military would probably test it first. He wrote that he would continue to show off, and the user has higher rights. Suddenly the guy saw that Svet had sent a link to the chat, with an invitation to play together. At the same time, in the wasteland in shelter number 404, Chu Guang recorded a voice message that he sent a link, who wants to try to play? Now he is trying to trick players from Hua country into coming to this world. Hyper-realistic game wasteland online. The current number of participants is 11. The guy said, there are enough people who submitted applications to complete his task. Now he, as the administrator of the game, should be given a reward. A system window appeared. It showed that the mission was completed. The reward was a nanocarbon bulletproof vest. Bonus points 5. He finally did it 5 months after arriving here. Chu Guang recalled what happened 5 months ago on Earth. He was an ordinary sales manager who had closed a big deal that day so he decided to celebrate by having a little drink. How he suddenly felt a tightness in his chest, and then heard a high-frequency sound and his consciousness faded. When he opened his eyes, he found himself in this post-apocalyptic world. Chu Guang at first thought it was some kind of joke, and someone just brought him to the set to film what was happening. So he ran, desperate to get out of this terrible place, but it turned out to be much more than he expected. What was worse than this was that he became a completely different person. At that moment, he again heard the same sound that was before his movement. Then something even more absurd happened. A system alert appeared in front of him. Welcome to Wasteland Online, Scavenger Chu Guang. Now he's a scavenger in this post-apocalyptic world. The first thought is to call the police. That's when he realized that he had lost not only his phone, but everything that was with him. In this state, he wandered aimlessly around the wasteland all day. He was already beginning to be overcome by a feeling of hunger. He could only accept the inevitability of what was happening. First we had to look for something edible. To his surprise, Chu Guang was able to come across a human settlement. To begin with, he will look for some food and perhaps find out something about the world. Suddenly someone said, no matter what, he will go to the next world. 
Now let him answer from whom shelter did he come. Chu Guang thought that he had never heard such a language, but perhaps because he was transported here, he could not only understand, but also speak it. The guy raised his hands up. The man who pointed the gun at him was named Walter. Chu Guang said, buddy, it's better not to rush. He was just passing by. Before he could finish speaking, the shot flew past his face. The old man shot the bear and said that the wasteland was not a place for children to play. There is no need to wander around here without a weapon, otherwise Chu Guang may become food for monsters. He thanked for the advice. Old Walter was right. After five months of survival, he began to understand this reality better. It was a parallel world in 2829, 211 years ago. A great war almost completely destroyed humanity. From this moment on, the era of post-apocalypse has begun. Now in the wastelands you should be afraid not only of many mutated animals, but also of marauders. Two, 340 years and 211 years have passed since the wasteland began to exist. Five months have passed since Chu Guang was here and had already learned the basics of this world, but there was something that he could not understand. When he passes the place where he appears in this world, he constantly hears this sound. Chu Guang approached the abandoned hospital. The sound became louder. This is it. The sound that haunts him comes from this place. We need to find out everything. It was getting louder and louder. He must be on the right track. Chu Guang did not expect that there would be such a huge room under the hospital. It's a pity that there is nothing useful here. He stopped and looked in surprise. Could this be a hidden shelter? There was a huge door in front of him, and the sound came from here. Suddenly, it lit up. It tells him to activate it. Chu Guang put his hand on the door. His fingerprints surprisingly matched. The door opened. He spoke. Just don't say that he released some kind of monster or boss. Suddenly, a small robot appeared in front of him. He said that Chu Guang is the boss here, and the robot is just his little assistant, serial number 777. Dear sir has finally arrived. The robot congratulated Chu Guang because he became the administrator of shelter number 404. Chu Guang exclaimed, he is the administrator. Does he have complete control of this place now? The system window notified that the NPC scavenger had been promoted to game administrator level zero. Serial number 777 said that everything was correct. Dear Chu Guang, the robot will try its best to help him complete his tasks. Chu Guang asked what kind of tasks. Serial number 777 replied that he should use the Earth's internet to call a group of players to help restore the wasteland. When he completes the task, he and the players will receive a reward that will help increase his level. Chu Guang asked if he could contact the Earth from here. The robot replied that the shelter can not only connect to a parallel world and Earth, it even has its own official website. All players who register to participate in the game will be assigned a number, and their details will be included in the list of residents of the shelter. The administrator also has the right to decide who to give the opportunity to join the game. Thanks to the system's capabilities, gaming equipment will be sent to players' homes while they are wearing gaming helmets and can communicate with one of the clones available in the shelter. Chu Guang thought that there is always a way out. He finally found a loophole. He said, calling a robot by its serial number is too rude, so from now on he will call him Seven. The robot was happy, now he has a name. The Seventh began to circle around Chu Guang, who looked at him in surprise and asked what was wrong with him. Has there been a system failure? The robot spoke, now he is the Seventh. Dear Administrator will take care of him. Chu Guang exhaled. Although his assistant is a little stupid, the ability to summon players and harvest them like a harvest is too good. Not only can he level up and become stronger, but he can also connect with the earth. Who knows, maybe one day he will be able to return home. A system window appeared. It was written that shelter number 404 was successfully activated. All conditions were met. Please encourage players to register for the game. A minimum of four players must register. The type of task is basic, the reward for completing. It is a carbon bulletproof vest and five bonus points. Chu Guang was surprised. The system is already giving him a task. Then let's start recruiting players. At the same time, on Earth in the men's dormitory, Yi Wai thought, does such a game really exist? At this moment, the players were loudly discussing the game Wasteland Online. A user named Svet wrote that hearing, vision, and smell are all the same as in the real world. This is a hyper-realistic immersive game in the literal sense of the word. In game time is equal to real time with a difference of 12 hours, the feeling that dreams are mixed so it will seem that you are sleeping. UI said, full immersion, how realistic will the game really be? What century do they live in? 
How can he promote his game with such second-rate advertising? He won't be able to attract a single player. At this time, Chu Guang sent out a link so that the participants could join the game. Yuai thought that although he didn't believe him, what if such a game really existed? Then all the women and wives he created using more than 200 mods will become real. He fantasized about a dark-skinned girl asking him if he was tired. She will give him a massage. Another asked if he was hot. She will fan him. The third girl asked him to eat melon. Yuai shouted that he was a university student who believed in knowledge, so he should use a scientific approach to research this new technology. He's in. Let the game show how realistic it is, he pressed the register button. Yuai left the university cafeteria, now he can go to the dormitory. He entered the room and saw a box. Was it really a package? His roommate asked him what he bought. Why is the box so huge? Yuai said that he didn't order anything and asked who brought it. The roommates didn't know, and he thought it was suspicious. Yuai opened the box and was surprised to see a gaming helmet there. He picked it up and exclaimed, This is play equipment. Let's see if it works. He put it on his head. A playing space appeared in front of him. It was so bright that you could go blind. Has the game started? Yuai introduced the young girls and said, Let the game come to him. Since it is so hyper-realistic with complete immersion, he will soon have his own harem. He thought that if this game is realistic, then the possibilities should be the same. Yuai opened his eyes and saw a notification in front of him that there were 72 hours, 0 minutes, and 0 seconds left before launch. He grabbed his helmet and shouted, Why should he wait 3 days when he is already without pants? The neighbors shouted at him that he was completely crazy. Let him stop screaming in the middle of the night. Another neighbor replied that we needed to go and shut him up ourselves. He asked where Yuai bought this huge thing. He shouted at Buddy Liu to stop and not touch it. He replied that he wanted to see it. Yuai wrote to the chat asking if everyone has received the gaming equipment. One player replied that he received it, but it was all so strange. It was delivered right to the door. Another player wrote that he found a package in front of the garage, and another guy wrote that his package appeared on his desktop. He even thought that it was for his colleague. Yuai wrote that an even more suspicious situation happened to him. The package was delivered straight to his dorm room. Three of his neighbors were there, and none of them saw how this terrible thing got inside. What's even scarier is that he saw a countdown timer when he put on the helmet, but his friends didn't notice. Another player wrote that it was definitely creepy, and another asked the others who they thought this company was. They not only know their addresses, but also deliver packages directly to their hands. User 8 Point Storm wrote that this worries him most. The address was probably found using their location, after all, it is not impossible to determine their physical location. But he still can't understand the delivery. He asked, Yuai studies in Zhongcheng, and he studies in Jinling. There are 500 kilometers between them, but they received their parcels almost simultaneously. Yuai replied that he received his after clicking on the link. He asked, how about taking the headset apart and seeing what's inside? Another user replied that they could do that, but it would be risky. He couldn't find an assembly manual. If they damage something, there's no guarantee that everything will work as it should after. The third player asked the question, what kind of company is this? Where did they get their addresses? Also, parcels are delivered at the speed of light. The user wrote that nothing serious happened, and he did not think it was worth contacting the police. And how is he going to explain this? Another player wrote that it was really difficult to do. He even tried to take a photo of his screen after putting on the headset but his phone did not see what he saw. Chu Guang recorded a voice message in the chat. He said that this is a corporate secret, and he cannot disclose it. They are friends, so he tried to get four gaming helmets for them. It was just lent to them, so please don't let them break it or lose it, otherwise they'll knock him on the head. Chu Guang continued to explain, the helmet synchronizes with the wearer. Synchronization can only be with one user, therefore you can only create an account. One of the players asked them not to create problems for the light user. Another user wrote, then first they will just play this game. A player asked if the game is paid. Chu Guang replied that it was free, but the company had a limited budget, so no one would pay them. Everyone agreed on this. Yuai wrote that he sends rays of love. The white colt replied that if the game was really that realistic, then he would simply do something impossible. Eight Point Storm wrote to tell him not to go back on his words. Chu Guang thought it was good that he decided to write to those with whom he used to spend time. After the death of his grandfather, he cut off all ties with relatives, and he has been gone for five months on Earth. Everyone probably already decided that he was dead. It looks like he'll have to rely only on himself. He'll probably return to work. 
Chu Guang told Seven that their website was too primitive. Can a robot add a forum, Wikipedia, and a field for uploading media content there? The Seventh replied that he would do everything, let the administrator order it. The initial construction phase requires a huge amount of manual labor, so you need to attract as many male players as possible. Therefore, the main page of the site should attract the attention of guys. In addition, the purpose of the site is not only to talk about the game, but also to motivate to play it through interaction with users. For example, you can create several female bots to interact with real players. EY said of course he really wants this after seeing such a bot. Chu Guang told Seven that he needed to prepare for the launch of the game. Let him try to improve the site in the next three days. The Seventh reached out and asked why the esteemed administrator only sent four gaming helmets. Weren't there 11 registered players? Even if the administrator accepts everyone, they will only occupy 10% of the clone tanks in Zone B1. Chu Guang replied that, now they do not have enough supplies, there are fewer people and fewer hungry mouths. A system window appeared in front of him, where it was written about forced exclusion, denial of access to login, confiscation of game status. Chu Guang said that in addition, even the administrator's capabilities do not allow him to force the players to put on helmets and work for him. As they say, if you rush to make people laugh, first you need to cultivate these four. The seventh said that this makes sense, these players are enough to complete the system's task. This is his reward, let him look at it. A notification appeared on the system window that the task of recruiting players was completed. The recruited players were four out of four, Chu Guang received a nanocarbon body armor and five bonus points. He thought, nanocarbon body armor? Sounds like something high tech. He clicked on the option to collect the reward, and immediately this vest appeared on his body. Does it put on automatically? This is great. The system displayed a description of the vest. It effectively absorbs kinetic energy from bullets, dissipates the damage received, and has a certain degree of resistance to cuts and punctures. The strength is 100%. Now Chu Guang will be much safer when he decides to escape from here. The Seventh said, Dear Administrator, the body armor is not as cool as the random box that is waiting for him. This was a bonus for the Administrator, a regular box 1 point, a medium level box 10 points, a high level box 100 points. The Seventh said that boxes of different levels give different rewards. The regular box drops food, the mid-level box drops medicine, and the last box drops weapons. Chu Guang asked if he should spend five of his points on ordinary boxes, or save up a hundred and get a weapon. The robot said that he had a new task, it was already in his journal, let him remember to check it. The system window showed that the task for activating shelter number 404 had been completed. The first batch of gaming equipment has been delivered. Please make sure at least one player is logged into the game. Type of tasks. Basic, reward, extract of active matter. The task is to prepare a generator with a power of at least 100 kW. The task type is additional. Reward 100 bonus points. Chu Guang exclaimed a whole 100 points. The seventh explained that active matter can be considered a method of resurrection. It is used to create clones of players in the event of their death. Chu Guang smiled and said that he would use the reward for this task to open the box of weapons. Let the seventh use all his points to open regular boxes. The robot nodded. An iron box opened from the wall, clouds of dust rose from there. Chu Guang looked at the box and asked, are these all the items? On the tray were an apple-flavored lollipop, a banana-flavored lollipop, a compressed cookie, and a mango-flavored lollipop. Chu Guang asked if it was too little, did he look like a child? Only a few candies fell out, and one item was missing altogether. Suddenly he noticed a note at the bottom and asked what it could be. He unfolded the paper and said, don't say that this is the fifth item. The message is written in the language of this world. It is good that over the past five months, he has learned to read and write in this language. The note said, Are there creatures in this world more suitable for exploitation than players? They are not only very curious, but also full of energy. They never despair when faced with difficulties. The most important thing is that players are able to view problems from the point of view of the game creator and can even help come up with ways to exploit them themselves. Disguising this device as a game was truly a genius decision. The first administrator of shelter number 404 please put this note in the fifth random box. This is an Easter egg that he left for his successor. Chu Guang said, what an Easter egg, he just stole one of his items. He got angry and squeezed the note. The seventh asked him to calm down. 
Chu Guang thought that if he thought about it carefully, someone was able to develop such technology in an era of almost complete extermination of humanity. Disguising this device as a game was truly a genius decision. Even this word is not enough to describe the first administrator. He turned to the seventh and asked if he knew the first owner. The seventh replied that he did not know. His program was launched when Chu Guang entered the shelter. The young man said that everything is in order, let him not overload himself. Since he was an administrator, at least some information about him should have been preserved in the shelter database, right? He thought about it. The robot said that he would try to search. He found information that, according to database records, more than 100 years had passed since the previous administrator transferred rights to manage the shelter. The exact date was January 1, 2157, and in the years 2125 and 2129, a great war broke out on this once prosperous planet. To destroy their enemy, both sides used all means available to them, erasing almost everything from the face of the planet. In that war, both sides not only sent their enemy to the grave, but also got into it themselves. After the end of the war in 2829, humanity entered a new era called the Wasteland, according to the record, the nuclear winter that followed these events destroyed almost all traces of human civilization. The Seventh said that there is no information about the first administrator, it was probably deleted. Chu Guang replied that the players would arrive in three days, he was going to do a little preparation and visit the processing center. Chu Guang took the note and put it back into the container. The most important problem now is the lack of food and water. He ordered the Seventh to behave well and wait for him, the robot became sad and asked when the respected administrator would return. Chu Guang replied that not until tomorrow evening, and the deadline was the end of the third day. He decided to go to the survivor's camp to get supplies. At 8 o'clock in the morning, the time difference from the real world is 12 hours. The road from the shelter to Bet Street is full of dangers. Not even a mouse can slip past these two-headed hyenas. Chu Guang hid behind some debris, but the hyenas noticed him. He wondered if he had been discovered. On the way to the camp, he came across two-headed hyenas. According to survivors, they mutated as a result of exposure to gamma radiation. After this, their combat power only decreased. Chu Guang smiled and extended his hand to the iron pipe lying next to him. He thought, as long as he had a weapon, even fighting two hyenas at once wouldn't be a big problem. He wants to fight them, but there is no need to fight if he has not been detected. Although these mutants are the main threat to the survivors, there are both strong and weak individuals among them. Compared to them, creatures such as creepers and other monsters, mutated beyond recognition, are natural killers. Two-headed hyenas are not very strong, but they are quite smart. They often send one or two members of the pack to scout. Like mutant cockroaches, if you see one, you can be sure that there are countless numbers of them hiding in the dark. One wrong move, and he will end up in a very bad situation. In most cases, you can say goodbye to your life. Chu Guang reached the survivor's camp on Bet Street. Here was the house of the city mayor and a recycling center. First, you need to go to the recycling center to get some chips. He will then use it to buy supplies. Otherwise, the players will die of hunger. Chu Guang placed the ammunition on the central scales, which never showed the correct result. The owner of the recycling center was old man Charlie. The elderly man said that there were three chips in total. The batteries are not bad, but the quality of the glue is mediocre, so he will only take it at half price. Chu Guang agreed. Old Charlie asked if he wanted to buy anything else. There were some new goods from the city of Jushi. Chu Guang asked if he had a gun. The seller replied that he did not stock anything like this, but even if he had it in stock, the guy would not be able to afford it. But he has food and fuel, and he recommends buying better before winter sets in and prices rise. Chu Guang asked, is the cold coming? Old Charlie replied that the guy arrived only five months ago and must not have experienced winter yet. Around this time of year, temperatures begin to drop, and it looks like winter will arrive a little earlier this year. Perhaps the first snow will fall in October, so mutants in the wasteland are beginning to actively prepare for the subsequent cold months. In winter, you will never be able to determine whether a valuable metal is hidden under a pile of snow or whether a mutant rat with sharp fangs is hiding. Once it snows, even traveling merchants will stop coming here. They say the weather here is terrible. They finish with the last delivery and don't show up again until spring. Even if you can find something valuable, you can hide it at home and wait for the arrival of spring when trade will resume. Of course, you can take a risk and go to the city, which is 10 kilometers from here. 
there are markets there even in the depths of winter. The guy thought that old Charlie was babbling again, but thanks to him, he was able to quickly understand how this world works. Previously, the old man lived in another shelter, but one day he was caught and made a slave, put up for auction where the head of the camp bought him. Then Charlie was given the task of dealing with the scavengers. If it had not been for the chaos that had begun in this world, he would have become an engineer, doctor or scientist like his ancestors, and not a simple archivist. Chu Guang replied that he understood everything, thanked the seller and said that he had to go. The old man replied that he should be careful and come to him again if he finds something worthwhile. Chu Guang went further, thinking that perhaps Charlie was looking after him, because he thought that he was also a survivor from another shelter. Chu Guang entered the house. He thought that three chips could hardly be exchanged for anything. It would be better for him to count how much he had left. He sat down on the bed and realized that the total was 50 chips. This was the fortune of an entire family, but this was barely enough for the initial stages of building a shelter. First of all, you need to restore the area around the shelter. You need to buy some tools. Players will then be able to collect materials nearby and repair the walls of the hospital using clay and stones. Since this is a hyper-realistic game, they will start from the lowest levels. In addition to tools, you also need food. Once a clone synchronizes with the player, it will become a living creature that needs to eat to replenish energy. If the players have nothing to eat, they may resort to extreme measures, and then control over them will be lost. Chu Guang imagined how the girl player said to the guy, she was so hungry and so thin, how can he mock her like this? He thought that he needed enough food to feed five people for a week. But even if you eat only twice a day and eat only one wheat pie at a time, you still get 70 chips. Since they are consumable to him, there is no need to feed them such good food. As the first administrator said, are there creatures in this world more suitable for exploitation than players? Chu Guang smiled and decided that they would eat green wheat from the neighboring farm. For three chips you can buy one kilogram and five kilograms is enough to feed one person for two weeks. Green wheat is used to make wheat cakes. He will do so, but first he will visit the recycling center and will think about the rest at a more appropriate time. Chu Guang left the house and ran into a shabby girl who said that she didn't do it on purpose. He didn't know who this girl was, if he's not mistaken, then her name is Yu Zaioyu. She seems to be the youngest daughter of the Yu family. The girl said that some sounds were coming from his house and she thought that someone was trying to rob him, so she came to look. Chu Guang thanked the girl, she smiled and said no problem. In the future, she will look after the house in his absence. She still has nothing to do at home. Chu Guang replied that children should not get too close to strangers. If they meet a bad person, it could end badly. Yu Zaioyu said dissatisfiedly that she was not a child. Her brother said she was old enough to get married. He's not a bad person. The last time she was hungry, he fed her soup. Chu Guang remembered her and thought, Is it clear that from that moment she was hanging around his house? He told her not to be angry and handed her a lollipop. The girl exclaimed, can she really eat this? Chu Guang was embarrassed seeing her reaction and added that she should not tell others that she received it from him, otherwise he will not give it again. Yu Zaioyu thanked him and said that she had never eaten anything like this. She asked why, she couldn't bite it off. Chu Guang replied that he would help her. He removed the label from the candy and gave it to the girl. He thought, the poor thing in his world, a child her age would still be in school. Yu Zaioyu tried the candy. It was so delicious. She ate it with pleasure and said that it was very sweet. And he was glad that she liked it. Yu Zaioyu noticed that the guy also knows how to smile. She enjoyed the delicious candy, holding it out and telling him to try it too. This candy is so delicious. Chu Guang said that she should stop fooling around and let her be a good girl and take care of the house while he is away. He patted her on the head. The girl said that she was not fooling around. She was very serious. Yu Zaioyu raised her head, but he was no longer there. She shouted after him not to worry. She would take good care of his shelter. Chu Guang entered the shelter. He said that three days had passed and the players should have already arrived. All four had already entered the light stream. The first player had the ability Mega Sensitivity. Yu Wai woke up and emerged from the flask of water. All four of them noticed each other. The dark-skinned man pulled his cheek and felt pain, so are they really in the game. He can really do what he wants. Another player did not expect that the real gender would be automatically selected, but he wanted to choose a female character. The last player, a guy with long hair, said that he couldn't even imagine that the game seemed so real. 
it was as if, with the help of a gaming helmet, they found themselves in a completely different world. Yuai agreed with him. He even felt his underwear slowly drying out. The door began to open slightly. Someone was coming. Maybe it was friend Svet? A mysterious figure appeared on the threshold. It was Chu Guang. He said that the war was over, but their world was disfigured beyond recognition. The inhabitants of the world need the help of players to restore their homeland. He is the administrator of this place, codename Don. The robot next to him is his assistant Seven. If they have any questions, they can contact him. The Seventh said hello and asked the players to take care of him. All the players were shocked. Chu Guang received a system alert saying that four players had just entered the game and were shocked and awestruck by his appearance. The administrator smiled. He thought it was perfect. Then Yuai exclaimed, Is this the administrator? Is he an NPC? Looks like a real person. Another guy asked where their friend Light could be. And what is their mission? How can they get out of the game? Can they change their gender and character settings? Chu Guang asked them to be calm. If they want to go out, then let them return to the capsules. Now their mission is to be quiet and remember all the rules from this manual. The players walked along a path with a guide for the residents of the shelter. It said that the first order of the administrator is above all, all inhabitants of the shelter must obey them unconditionally. Second point, the administrator reserves the right to impose forced sleep and isolation for those who violate the rules. Note, forced sleep equals exclusion from the game, and isolation entails denial of permission to enter the system. Third point, administrators have final authority over the interpretation of the above terms. EY thought that this NPC was more like a game master. He even had the ability to prevent the player from logging in. This means he is someone who should not be irritated. You need to be more careful from now on. The White Fool said that friend Svet got these gaming helmets, especially for them, thanks to his connections, and it would be too wasteful if they were banned. Chu Guang explained that more than 200 years had passed since the end of the Great War. The fact that they are standing here means that they are more fortunate than 12 billion people. Now they need to accept the new reality and fulfill the oath they took under the banner of the Union of Humanity to restore and build their home anew. All the players shouted yes. Chu Guang continued to bring them up to date. They are now on the northern outskirts of Kinquin City, far from the nuclear warhead area, so they don't have to worry about being exposed to radiation. Their first mission is to take an axe and collect firewood. Winter is coming, you need to stock up on enough fuel to survive it. He added that the hospital building still needed to be renovated so that they could have an outpost in the wasteland. The guys grabbed axes and shouted that they would rebuild their house. Chu Guang asked them not to go far. If they see monsters, they should not fight them, but simply retreat quietly. The players went to the forest for firewood. The seventh asked Chu Guang, will they be okay? He replied that the robot would look after them. Let him stand at the window on the third floor of the hospital and watch from there. We'll immediately inform him if they encounter danger or go too far. He will distribute the rewards at the control center for now. The seventh promised that he would monitor the players. You can rely on him. Only he doesn't have the legs to climb the stairs. Chu Guang said that he would take it there. Meanwhile, the players were getting firewood. One of them said, It's not fair why someone is strong, as if he had trained before, but he got tired while he was lifting an axe. Yuai asked, So what if the man is pumped up? His body is also stronger in the game than in life. In his imagination, two girls admired his muscles. He said with regret, such a body disappears. It's a pity that there are no girls here to admire him. Another player said that their characters likely have different characteristics. According to the background of the game, there may be two reasons why they are different from each other. They are ancient people who were put into cryogenic sleep to wait out the war. Or they were artificially created with the help of technology. He personally leans more towards the second. That way, if they die, they can revive everyone by using the DNA to create other clones. His eyes have not yet lit up. He hopes that the developers will add game mechanics like combining DNA and class systems. This way, players will be able to develop differently. This will not only give them a certain degree of freedom, but will also enrich the gameplay. Yan Feng said, well, it started again. The White Foal said that he is always like this when it comes to games. Yiwai pointed to the path and asked if they thought if they walked in one direction, would they be able to meet the elves who live in the forest? The White Foal recalled that the game takes place 200 years after the radioactive fallout. He watched a similar movie, if there is something here, then he doubts that they will meet elves. But they may meet mutants or zombies, for example. 
Yan Feng said threateningly, Yu Wai forgot what the administrator said about moving away from the hospital. Does he want to be kicked out of the game? Another player agreed and added that they only have one axe. If confronted with a monster, it can destroy the entire team. Yu Wai promised that he would not do anything stupid. He remembered the training, the administrator's orders are above all, all residents of the shelter must obey unconditionally. Yuai said dissatisfiedly, that person is just an NPC, why should he listen to him? Okay, he got this great game for free from a friend, no need to make trouble. Suddenly Yuai dropped the axe from his hands, and a warning exclamation mark appeared on his head. He thought, what was it? Why did he suddenly feel uneasy? Something suddenly flew past him, and the player fell to the ground. What was it? It almost killed him now. He looked into the sky and screamed, It's a monster. For help, the big black bird said, Is he chasing her again? The black bird, his great ancestor, couldn't he be hunting anyone else? The monster loomed over Yuai. Seven immediately returned to the shelter to report the problem. A system window appeared in front of Chu Guang, which said that active matter is the basis for the synthesis of clones. It contains minerals necessary for the formation of the human body. 20 essential amino acids as well as 2 rare amino acids. The active matter extractor uses carcasses as raw materials. For example, carcasses of chordate mammals such as primates have the best extraction efficiency with recovery rates of up to 90%. They are followed by invertebrates, which have an extraction efficiency of less than 10%. The speed of extraction also depends on the degree of extraction. Chu Guang wondered, so this thing is an active matter extractor. According to the manual, you can even use monsters. For now, he needs to put this aside. What is more important is that he can get the materials to create clones. Then the seventh appeared in the room, saying that they had problems, and said that a huge bird had attacked the players north of the hospital. Chu Guang became nervous and asked again, Is it a huge bird? In the forest north of the hospital, the players were holding Yuai. He said that he was very scared. Another player praised him for his ability to evade. The third player added that this creature looks like a raven. He said, this must be one of the so-called mutants. Yuai asked him how he understood this. The player replied, on the official website, it is written that mutants are creatures affected by gamma rays. Yuai asked in surprise, is there such a thing on the website? Wasn't there just a registration button? He was told that new sections were added to the site only yesterday. Did he not see this? Yuai shouted that they would talk about this later. They needed to deal with the raven first. The white fool shouted that they should not be afraid. If the enemy doesn't attack, then neither will they. Yan Feng prepared to fight, but turned around and saw that all his comrades were hiding in the bushes. He shouted asking what are they doing. Bad team. Suddenly someone threw a stone at the mutant, he squealed. The player asked who threw the stone. Others replied that it was not them. Is there anyone else here? The monster looked to the side. The attacker was Chu Guang. He threw a stone and threw it at the monster two times. He took the pipe and said, animals are animals, even if his head is larger, he has not become smarter than a man. The guy swung the pipe and threw it at the monster's head, piercing right through it. Players thought, isn't this NPC too powerful? They were delighted, the administrator is cool. He can even kill a mutant, of course he is stronger than some monster. Chu Guang cooked the roasted mutant falcon over the fire. Yuai asked, is this crow really edible? Chu Guang replied that they had prepared it, so everything was fine. He will tell the players if there is anything that should not be eaten. And this creature is not a raven, but a falcon. One of the players exclaimed, Do falcons grow that big? Is this due to radiation? Chu Guang began to explain that not only this influences, there are also viruses, bacteria, other biological weapons, and other factors due to which animals became what they are today. Mutants are one of the possible threats that we have to face here. In some cases, people are more dangerous than monsters. Chu Guang turned the meat over and thought what a pity that they didn't have salt. It would have been much tastier. But finding her in such a distant city as Kinquin would be difficult. Chu Guang turned to the players and said that the meat would be cooked soon. They won't eat this every day in the wastelands. Yi Wai asked him, they can't eat it in one sitting like that. Then just put the leftovers in the refrigerator. Chu Guang explained what they should know. Only the head of the survivor camp has something like a refrigerator in the castle. The players exclaimed head. Luck. In Yuai's imagination, he was the head of the castle, and the maidservants asked him if he wanted to take a bath, eat, and go to bed. Another player asked the administrator how much wood they needed to collect. Chu Guang replied that he needed as many as possible, but he himself thought that they were very different from him. 
They can leave at any time. Soon they will have no motivation left to survive here. He needs them to continue working, so he needs to reward them. He said, how about this? If a stick is as thick as an arm, every meter will cost one point. If it is as thick as a thigh, then two points. Bonus points can be exchanged for rewards. For example, a roasted thigh would cost 50 points, and two wings would cost 80 points. The player's eyes lit up. Yi said that he suddenly felt a surge of strength. The white foal said that there was little time left before lunch, so he would go and cut down a few more trees, and all the players rushed into the forest. The players were very exhausted. Chu Guang thanked them for their hard work and said that in total they earned 2,000 bonus points. White Foal earned more than 800 points. He said that it was too easy for him as he sometimes helps move bricks in his factory. Two more players earned over 400 points. They clapped their hands and one of them said it was a great job. Yi replied that he also did a good job. Yan Feng earned 300 points. He sadly said that this game is too ruthless. His body is as weak as in real life. Chu Guang thought that they did better than he expected. At this time, the others cheered on the last player. Chu Guang thought it was lucky that there was a fried falcon on hand, which made them start complaining. If he gave them two candies after they had cut down a hundred trees, they would try to cut him down next. Chu Guang said that players can view their current bonus points on the website. They can also exchange them for items, buy resurrection coins. Responding takes three days. One of the players asked, is there so little you can buy with bonus points? Another player replied that this is a closed beta version. Obviously, there is not much content yet. You need to take advantage of this and score more points in advance. By the time the game officially releases, there will be more ways to spend points. Chu Guang thought that he originally wanted to give them chips as a reward, but he didn't have much of it himself. All survivors of Kinquin City speak the universal language of the human republic. There were only a few similarities with earthly language. In addition, the players are not natives, so they cannot understand the local language. Similar to him, he needs to create a translator to solve this problem. One of the players told the administrator that he noticed that there was no electricity in their outpost. Why don't they install a generator? Chu Guang replied that there is only one generator. Maybe one of them is knowledgeable in this area or in electrical engineering. If they can solve this problem, he will give them a special reward. One of the players was excited about this opportunity. Yi laughed and asked, couldn't he just use an extension cord? Everyone looked at him in surprise. Chu Guang replied that they don't have that long, and the electricity in the shelter is not unlimited. In the long term, this is impossible, and it can still lead to much bigger problems. It was already quite late. The players need to go back, Chu Guang thought. Although it was not dark yet, a new day would soon come in the real world. The players went inside the base. One of them spoke, time flies when you play games. Another player added that this is all because this game is too realistic. Yi said that he didn't seem to want to return to the capsules and leave the game, and Yan Feng said that, on the contrary, he really wanted to leave. Chu Guang thought that he needed to find players from a different time zone and those who did not need to go to work in the morning. Otherwise, defending the outpost will not be easy. Seven approached the administrator and said that the physical state of the clones had been updated. Would he like to take a look? Chu Guang asked if the report is about this. The robot replied, of course, every time the player logs out using the capsule, it will automatically scan the clones, then extract a few stem cells and record the genetic sequences. This saves for backup and checking the progress of players. Chu Guang asked what he meant by genetic sequence. Can clones be improved? The seventh replied that the biological information of the clones used by the players is synthesized from various DNA sequences. For example, clones with more developed physical strength will naturally be stronger than others, and it will be easier for them to increase their strength. Chu Guang said, no wonder why that dark-skinned player was stronger than the others. The robot added that the progress of genetic development depends on the degree of dominance of specific DNA genes. This is usually expressed as a percentage, for example, if progress in development reaches 100%, the performance of a living organism will approach the limit of genetic development and reach perfection, but this is practically impossible. At the moment, progress in the development of the four gene abilities they activate is close to zero. According to research, as long as they stimulate their survival instincts and exercise the player's bodies, they can increase this value. Chu Guang thought, this way these players can level up.
plus they have natural talents. In the future, it will be necessary to train them in a certain area. At this time at Jinling University, in the professor's dormitory, Yan Feng woke up holding the helmet in his hands and thought that he should ask Professor Wang about the electric generator during lunch. He got dressed and left the dorm. At noon they were in the dining room, some guy shouted why the line was moving so slowly. At this rate, he will die of hunger. The students were standing there whispering, they said, look, it's Professor Wang. He is really handsome and looks quite young. I can't even believe that he is already 30 years old. He's having lunch with that weirdo from the physics department, Professor Yan Fen. Professor Wang greeted the students and said that they should go have lunch. Hunger strike would not lead to anything good. The students replied that they would go eat right now. The girls thought that Professor Wang was so caring, they wanted to chat with him longer. Age is just a number. If he is handsome, then everything is fine. Yan Feng was reading something enthusiastically. Professor Wang asked him, is he doing research on the generator? Yan Feng closed the book and said that he recently read a story about a post-apocalyptic world. Professor Wang bowed his head and asked what he was getting at. Yan Feng replied that he wanted to find out if something like an apocalypse really happened, how would the survivors get electricity? Professor Wang sighed, just don't let him say that he wanted to talk about it. Yan Feng replied that this was exactly what he wanted to talk about. Professor Wang asked him not to take such stories seriously. He smiled and added, unless he had been in such a world. Yan Feng put on his glasses and thought in fear, how did he know? Were four people invited to the beta version? Professor Wang exclaimed, don't let him be so serious, it's just a joke. Yan Feng was already scared, but it didn't look like his colleague was playing Wasteland Online. Professor Wang said that he usually reads cultivation novels, so he doesn't know much about the post-apocalyptic world. Can Yan Feng briefly tell you the plot? Yan Feng said that the events take place 200 years after a nuclear disaster. Professor Wang said that solving his problem is not easy. Any unprotected electrical equipment is likely to be damaged by electromagnetic pulses from nuclear explosions. The more complex the device, the less likely it is to survive. He asked what about private generators in restaurants and residential areas. They shouldn't be difficult to use, right? Even if the parts had not deteriorated or rusted in 200 years, they would have been taken away long ago. In addition, there are problems with fuel, because such generators require gasoline, and it is unlikely that there will be any left. He thought about it and smiled, saying that perhaps there was a way after all. Yan Feng exclaimed and prepared to write it down, let him tell him. Professor Wang said, every car has a recyclable generator. If you fix it and get the rotor spinning, it can produce a stable current of 12 volts, which should be enough for something that doesn't require much power generation, such as lighting. And if he can find an inverter, then there will be no problems converting direct current into alternating current with a voltage of 240 volts. While Yan Feng was diligently writing this down, Professor Wang thought, why take the novel so seriously? He heard people say that the staff of the physics department are a little strange, especially the robot Professor Yan Feng, who never laughs. The professor stood up from the table and said that he still had classes in the afternoon. If there is something he doesn't understand, he can just come and ask him. Yan Feng thanked him. Suddenly, the students surrounded Professor Wang and shouted that they also had a lot of questions. The professor was embarrassed and apologized, saying that he had classes. Why don't they ask Professor Yan Feng? One of the girls asked if he could help a little. Another student promised that she would help him clean up the mess, so please let him teach them. Yan Feng thought that later when he entered the game, he would need to ask the administrator where he could find the cars. He thought, why is the phone vibrating? Don't tell me that more information about the game has appeared. It turned out that this is one of the players writing about his impressions. Yan Feng thought that this guy does not go to work and spends all his free time on the computer. He heard that this guy completed a lot of games. At this time, in the room it's not yet evening, he started broadcasting to talk about the game. He began to tell, now there are two NPCs in the game, the man's name is Dawn, and his robot assistant is Seven. Both have highly developed artificial intelligence, it seems that you are talking to a real person. He suspects that every NPC has a hidden gratitude scale. Also, although the sensation of pain is present, there is a certain threshold. Perhaps the game has some kind of mechanic that protects against excessive pain. Of course, this could also be the body's own defense mechanism, for example. Nothing will happen if you hit your hand with a stone, but if you pinch yourself, you can feel it. He thinks developers should give players more freedom and allow them to adjust the experience level, for example. 
Personally, he is very satisfied with the current sensations, but there are players who want to independently regulate these indicators. Viewers began to ask him what would happen if you died in the game. How many times has he died already? When will he stream this game? It's not yet evening, he answered. In order to stream the game, he will have to ask permission from his friend's company. As for the revival, as a high-level player, he has not yet had to use it. But according to the rules, they will lose points that can be earned by completing tasks. The most annoying thing is that you have to wait three days to respawn. In any case, he is not interested. If there is any brave soul who wants to try, then let him tell them what it is like later. He turned to the audience and asked if Friend Light was present here. Can he fulfill his request? He really wants players to be able to choose their gender. At this time, Chu Guang was watching the broadcast. He thought that this player was an idiot, and the seventh turned to him and said let the respected administrators see if they need to increase the number of players. The monitor screen indicated the current number of registered players was 25. The number of registrations increased by 14. Chu Guang replied that there was no need to rush. He needed to prepare a test for the next batch of players. That player is quite popular. Chu Guang heard that he was one of the top 200 players thanks to its advertising. Even those who simply watched from the sidelines were hooked. By the way, he made Chu Guang the administrator of the group chat. Chu Guang asked to enable voice input and wrote in the group chat that he was a little busy and couldn't pay attention to the chat. What the player said is generally correct, so he'll just give a little more information. Registration for the beta test is now starting. Chu Guang sent them a link in the chat. Through a questionnaire on the registration page, they can choose which of the five characteristics will be a priority and which not. This game does not allow you to select gender, and appreciation is the player's NPC rating. The main feature is that the player's behavior affects the NPC's attitude towards him. When appreciation is high enough, you can not only receive additional rewards, but also unlock hidden quests and a hidden class. The players were very happy about this. Chu Guang said that they can look at the full information on the official website, but he needs to work. He also said that the review of one of the players was very good. You can upload it to the forum for everyone to see. The player exclaimed that the approval of his friend Light is the greatest motivation. Chu Guang sat down in a chair and exhaled. It seems that the first synchronization with the clones went quite well. He will need an official in-game helmet to sync with the clone in-game. He asked Seven, since players can connect to clones, could he also connect his consciousness to one of them? In the end, he somehow managed to get here. The Seventh replied that he would help the administrator figure it out. After some time, the robot sadly reported that it did not have the corresponding DNA sequence information in the database. It doesn't think that Chu Guang will be able to use clones. Chu Guang patted Seven and told him not to worry about it. Will he be able to use the results of his examination to calculate characteristics, as he has done for others? The robot said it was possible. A system window with Chu Guang's characteristics appeared. He read this and thought, level 5, does this mean that the progress of his genetic sequence has reached 5%? The first administrator is a genius if he was able to combine information about more than 120 clones into these 5 characteristics. Chu Guang asked Seven to show information about the closed alpha testing players. The robot nodded and said that its characteristics are an order of magnitude higher than those of the clones. Chu Guang looked at the information and wondered, indeed his characteristics are superior, but why is his genetic sequence not in the database? Is he really a mistake and was not in the plans of the first administrator? He became interested, he said, compared to a life planned by someone else. A life full of mysteries is definitely more interesting. The system reported that he had unlocked the achievement. The seventh said that the administrator has enough points to open the middle level box. Chu Guang decided to try. Until he got a bottle of cough syrup, everything was fine. He clicked on the system window. The conveyor started working, Chu Guang stood silently. The seventh asked what prize he received. The administrator got something good. It was a muscle strengthening injection that continually increases strength in small amounts. Chu Guang wondered, a constant minimum increase in strength. This is definitely better than cough medicine, but this thing has been preserved for 200 years, can it be used? It's kind of alarming. The seventh assured that the administrator should not worry, everything here is of the highest quality. Well, if he says so, it's worth a try. Chu Guang injected himself into his arm and thought that there would be no problem. He punched his hand to test the increase in strength, but felt no difference. Maybe the medicine has expired. The seventh asked the administrator to wait a little. 
Chu Guang said in frustration that no effect was better than a negative effect. When suddenly he felt changes in his body, it suddenly became numb, and he even felt waves of heat approaching his heart. His eyes turned red, Chu Guang squeezed his hand and asked why nothing happened. Maybe the expiration date has expired. Since the item is 200 years old, he doesn't think his body has changed much. In any case, he was lucky that there was no bug in this spoiled medicine. But just in case, he asked the seventh to help him conduct a full examination of the body, let him check it well both outside and inside. The system window showed the characteristics of the body at the moment. Chu Guang said that although the progress of genetic development has not changed, the characteristics of strength and physique have increased by one point. The seventh said that if the administrator's strength increased by one more point, he would be twice as strong as an ordinary adult man. An ordinary 20-year-old guy who has never undergone any special training is normally up to five points in strength and physique. The number five is the reference value for all characteristics. Chu Guang said contentedly, this means that one point of physique strength corresponds to 20% of the physical strength of an ordinary adult man. That's cool. He asked the robot what time is it. It was already four o'clock. The player should be online in an hour and a half, which means we have to wait. Chu Guang sat down and stroked the robot. The seventh said that he would go get ready. Chu Guang sat down at the computer and noticed that the task had been updated again. Yesterday there was only one, but now there are already twenty. The new main task has not appeared, perhaps the conditions were not met. Does a daily task mean it will update every day? He said, twenty tasks total 150 bonus points, he will die of fatigue if he does everything alone. You need to spend a few points and call players for help. He will ignore these daily missions. Right now the task with the generator is a priority. If without electricity there is a primitive tribal social system, then with electricity it will be the luxurious life of an aristocrat. Chu Guang said anxiously, he will not be able to live the life of a noble man in a shelter when everything outside is still at a basic level. But nothing will be solved if he just sits here, he began typing on the keyboard. We need to choose new ones among the registered players, let's see if they are useful or not. Here are 10 new players, looks like yesterday's chat discussion worked as expected. The current number of participants was 35 people, but the chat only had a few hundred participants. Maybe these 35 people are all active people. Chu Guang said that if he wanted to attract more people, he might need to use new advertising strategies. It is not possible to place advertisements. The official Wasteland online website is not registered in the country. The server is probably not even on Earth. Moreover, as the number of users increases, there will definitely be those who will cause many problems. In Chu Guang's imagination, one girl player said that she was dizzy, and these clothes were so terrible. How can the administrator force her to wear this? Another girl shouted that she wanted porridge. The third girl yawned and said that this game was very boring, and she was going on a date. Good luck in the game. Chu Guang thought that the requirements for beta players should be raised. That's right, he can ask Seven to move the application form from the first page of the site to the second. Players will need to register and provide a phone number and shipping address to submit a claim. This way he can weed out people who do not want to play and unsuitable players. With the new feature selection feature, it will be easier to attract normal users who love games. An alert about a new message appeared on the computer screen. The unknown girl looked at it, exhaled and said, Thank God this is not a message from a client. She has no ideas at all. It's impossible to come up with anything. This is already giving me a headache. She's busy organizing the company's fashion show and doesn't have time to play games. There's been a lot of chat in the chat lately. I think they're talking about Wasteland Online. Is it a hyper-realistic immersive game? All these people were specifically hired for advertising, right? Such a game cannot exist, but if she tries, she will lose nothing. What if all this is true? This new administrator named Svet must be a developer. Even one of the players worships him. It seems like this game is worth trying. The girl clicked on the link to register. She was shown a notification that said, Dear players, thank you for registering for beta testing of Wasteland Online. This time, a survey will be used to adjust your five stats, dexterity, strength, constitution, intuition, and intelligence. For example, a player with developed physical strength will have a higher probability of receiving a strength-type talent. In addition, his character will initially have higher strength indicators. Players who do not have any special preferences can choose a balanced character type. Next, we will talk about five characteristics. 
Strength represents the strength of the tissues of the body, that is, the muscles of the bones. This also includes player weight, melee damage, and throw range. Agility is the player's reaction speed, ability to coordinate movement, and many other physical data. In short, players with high agility are more agile in combat and have an easier time dodging attacks. Physique determines the player's vitality and resilience, which mainly reflects the rate of recovery of lost health, resistance to certain abnormal conditions, immunity, etc. Intelligence is not the same as ick or logical thinking. This characteristic affects the character's learning ability and the speed of mental health recovery. At the same time, it affects the player's compatibility with neural devices. A character with high intelligence can control a large number of devices simultaneously. Intuition, characters with developed intuition are better at sensing danger, and they are also more likely to find hidden clues and traps. The girl read this memo and said that there was nothing special in this game. Then her gaze fell on the text that when being born, players cannot decide who to be in the future, since in the game everything is determined by pre-loaded DNA. If they are not satisfied with the character's appearance, they may consider plastic surgery or body transformation. This feature will be added to the game in the future. The girl said quite enough, plastic surgery, body transformation, all new trends in the modern fashion industry. Here it is. She finally found inspiration. The girl jumped up from the table and exclaimed, This is simply excellent inspiration. She'll order this game right now. The girl clicked on pre-order, Wasteland Online wait for her. That's all she has registered. All that remains is to wait for the game to launch. The girl hoped that she could be inspired to create new costumes. At this time, Vault 404 received a notification that new applications for participation had been received. Chu Guang said that this time they are registering more actively than last time. As he thought, promotion is very important, now even a good product needs advertising. Then he looked at the time and said that there was no need to do this now, because the players should have already entered the game. The seventh met the players and said that it was already six o'clock in the morning in the wasteland. One of them said he was a power type cool, and his intelligence is only three points, but he doesn't feel that stupid. Another player quipped that he could tell how smart he was by just asking this question. His main ability is agility. Why isn't he some megabrain? Yan Feng said that his strength is his intellect. He has seven points, but his strength is three points. Yi grabbed his stomach and shouted that he couldn't stand it anymore. Let the robot quickly tell him where the toilet is. The seventh explained that there was only a level B1 cultivation room here. No amenities. In addition, the senses of players with an intuitive type of development are stronger, so please let him calm down. The white foal said that UI needs to be restrained. This guy is surprisingly strong. Thank the gods he himself has seven points of strength. UI shouted at them not to say anything about holding back. Not yet evening asked him, is everything okay with him? If he does this here, the NPC's gratitude will decrease. Yi thought, the curse seems to be coming, something incredible. Then Chu Guang entered, he shouted no fighting, everyone will line up, the players stood in a line. Yesterday he told them of his gratitude, and today they are trying to please him. He will continue to maintain this majestic image. Chu Guang told the players that time was running out, and they had a lot to do. In order not to disrupt plans, it is necessary to build an outpost before winter comes. Food, drinking water and fuel, they need to stock up on everything they need. They also need fortifications and ground shelters, details they can find out by checking the sign at the entrance to the hospital. One of the players shouted that it looked like the developers had updated the quest system. White Foal said he had a chance to stretch his muscles again. The third player thought, so there is no task to find a generator? Chu Guang said that this is the situation at the moment. If there are no questions, then let's get started. Yi interrupted him by shouting that he wanted to go to the toilet. Chu Guang became nervous. He wanted to survive so much that he forgot to take care of this problem. When there are more players, food, drink, and toilet will become a huge problem. He told the guy to follow him. Yi asked him to wait for him and go slower. Otherwise, he wouldn't hold back. The white foal told the guy to shut his mouth. It seems he now wanted to. Evening has not yet said that he too, and it seems to him that the problem is in the chicken that they ate yesterday. Yan Feng said that the diarrhea in the game is too realistic. After some time, all the players were already standing in front of the administrator. They were all discussing their recent trip to the toilet. Chu Guang thought that he was going to warn them that a cloth could be used for this. But they ran away as soon as they reached the surface. 
Here the players said that they were proposing to build a toilet at the base. Whitefoal said that they could also dig a deep hole to collect waste there, and they could also mix plant compost with sawdust so that aerobic bacteria and fungi could process the organic matter, producing heat. This will help kill disease causing pathogens in the waste. This way they will get fertilizer. Chu Guang thought about it, but on Bet Street they collect waste from toilets and livestock manure to later sell to Brown. Perhaps they also produce fertilizers there. One of the players said that in his hometown they mix and seal waste and organic matter and create a boiler to produce biogas. Anaerobic bacteria convert such a mixture into flammable methane. Such biogas can be used for methane-powered batteries. With this, they can build a power plant for the toilet. Chu Guang thought that Bet Street did not have a biogas boiler, but Brown Farm did. It turns out that waste is used to generate electricity. In theory, they could build their own power plant. He said that this was not a bad idea, he should think about it, but he said to himself that this player was more useful than he thought. Yan Feng said, the only problem with building a toilet and boiler is that they will need a large amount of sealing materials and gas storage containers. Chu Guang told them not to worry. There was a lot of plastic in the wasteland, especially drink bottles and garbage bags. Survivors fear that when burned, plastic will release toxic substances, so they use it for ignition only as a last resort. They just need to look around carefully. They can find a lot of things in the area. For example, he found this notice board in a neighboring area. A list of tasks was written on the board. The first task is to collect wood, the second is to find a container for storing water, and the third is to find waste suitable for recycling. Chu Guang also added a task to find plastic bags and bottles. The white fool was surprised. This game is too realistic. Even the NPC analyzes the real situation and gives new tasks. EY said, I wonder if any of them noticed that when they presented their ideas to the administrator, he smiled. The third player said that yesterday their friend Svet said that if their relationship with the NPC is good, then they will have a chance to receive hidden tasks. Yan Feng raised his hand and said that regarding the generator, he has a more suitable method. He asked if he could find a car nearby. Any normal car must have a generator installed. Chu Guang explained, there are a lot of cars near Wetland Park not far from here. He checked them all, and there was nothing there that could be reused. Yan Feng said that he wanted to see again. If they find a working generator, they will be able to use electricity in the outpost. Chu Guang didn't mind, but he had one condition. Hordes of mutants live in the wasteland. They have already met one of them, so it is very dangerous outside. He needs to choose one more person to go with him. Yan Feng's ability is intelligence, so he will need someone strong to go into the wilderness. One of the players thought he had a bad feeling. Chu Guang turned to Yi Wai and told him to go with Yan Feng, let them follow him, he will give them a map and equipment. Yi Wai was surprised, but said that he was obeying and pressed his hand to his temple. The dark-skinned man said to think only he chose this guy, although he is stronger and better suited for battles. Another player said that perhaps after analyzing the situation, the administrator decided that his intuition would be needed more in this situation. Yiwai laughed and said that he would go get some equipment and finally leave this rookie village. Yan Feng said that this idiot definitely enjoys pissing people off. The dark-skinned man told Yiwai not to be so self-confident. He will say this when he returns alive. Another guy added, making sure he didn't die there. After some time they arrived at the place, ahead there was a junkyard with many cars. It is not surprising that the administrator said that there was nothing to catch here. They took everything out clean. Yiwai asked, where can I find this generator? Maybe they should come back. Yan Feng said that since they were here, they couldn't leave empty-handed. He came past one car and tried to lift the hood, but could not. He asked for help shouting. Yiwai told him not to worry, and thought, even though they had been playing with him for several years, he still doesn't know what he does in life. The two of them lifted the hood of the car. Yiwai looked there and asked, Is this a generator? Yan Feng replied that probably yes. Didn't Yiwai say that he could drive? Let him help you figure this out. The guy smiled and asked, Do the hours played count in NFS? Yan Feng thought about alpacas. Yiwai said, He definitely remembers that he has his own car. Why is he asking him? Yan Feng replied that he lives in the teacher's dormitory. His only means of transport is a bicycle. Yiwai was horrified and said that he did not believe him. Yan Feng looked at the car and thought, strange, why him? The engine is there, but he doesn't see the power supply. Yiwai said that 200 years have passed, the survivors have stolen everything. We need to end this, 
Maybe there is something worthwhile in the trash can. Wouldn't it be better to rummage through it? Yan Feng thought that he was right, but there was still a chance. Judging by the details on the front panel of the car, the technological level of pre-war society was quite high. Perhaps during this period the built-in power supply was replaced with a remote one. He sighed, it looked like it would be impossible to find a generator among this amount of rubbish. Then Yu Wai shouted to him to come to him. He found something amazing. Yan Feng instantly came running and asked what was the generator. He approached the guy, he answered, he found a hole in the ground. Yan Feng said that this is the entrance to the drain. Yi Wai suggested seeing what was there. He doesn't feel any danger. Yan Feng asked him to stop. Even the administrator did not say what was in this place. It's foolhardy to go there. Yi Wai smiled. If even the administrator doesn't know, then they should definitely investigate this place. Na Yan Feng said that they should not return empty-handed. What if they could find items that would trigger hidden quests or summon new NPCs? In many games, beautiful ladies are hidden in dungeons. In Yu Wai's imagination, he rescued two girls from the dungeon. Yan Feng also imagined a chest with a generator and said that he did not agree with it, but the hidden dungeons in this game were worth following. They might even find a secret treasure chest. Yu Wai said that then they need to prepare, he will get them a bag where they can put the items. Yan Feng said that this was great, but reminded them that the administrator told them when they left that if they met mutants, it was better not to get into a fight. If possible, you should run. But if you can't avoid a battle, you should never turn your back on them. Otherwise, they will sign their own death warrant. The players went down the drain. Yu Wai looked down and asked, What is the name of this mushroom? Yan Feng said that it might be some kind of thing. He doesn't know what it is. Never seen this in real life. Yu Wai suggested taking a couple of mushrooms. He took one mushroom and said that they look cool. You can even see colored lights if you look closely at the lines. I wonder what it tastes like. Yan Feng replied that it was better to go back and ask the administrator whether they were edible or not. This is a game, but please don't let him get into trouble. In Hua country, more than eight people have died this year from poisonous mushrooms. They looked deep into the drainage. They collected everything here. They can return. Yi Wai said that this place is quite safe. We can go further. He ran forward. Yan Feng shouted to him to wait for him. The player responded with a laugh that maybe there would be something cooler ahead. Then he stopped abruptly. Yan Feng asked him why he did this. He almost crashed into him. Yi Wai trembled and a red warning sign appeared above his head. He thought that this was not good, this damn oppressive feeling, the same as when they encountered the big black bird. Something growled from the darkness. Yi Wai thought, don't say it's a mutant. He turned around and ran towards the exit of the drain. Yan Feng shouted to wait for him. Can he explain first and then act? Yi Wai shouted for the player to run, stop standing and yawning. A mutant appeared from the darkness. At this time, at shelter number 404, two players finished building a toilet. They were pretty tired. Chu Guang approached them and said that he would give each of them 200 points as a reward. In the future, it will be necessary to store the waste separately because when mixed, the substance obtained is too viscous. In addition, crops can be watered with the waste. But for now, this is not enough. There is a stream within a kilometer radius. Let them be extremely careful, and when they go to wash themselves, a bunch of mutants live there. Chu Guang thought that there is no shower either. In the future, hundreds of people will live here, and maintaining hygiene may become a problem. There are practically no supplies of medicine in the shelter, and in the event of a pandemic, this will lead to serious consequences. One of the players exclaimed, maybe they can build a bathhouse. Perhaps someday female players will join them. This is a great idea. They can't allow girls to wash on the street, can they? The white foal replied that he was right, and there would also be hot water. That's right. They'll build a place where girls can rub each other's backs. The players began to fantasize. Chu Guang thought that he had never seen such shameless people before, and there were also two of them. Suddenly, they heard a cry for help. Yi Wai ran to the edge and said that it was close. He almost fell. But Yan Feng fell on him from behind, and they flew into the pit. Yan Feng yelled. He told him to warn him before doing anything. Two players leaned over the pit and asked if they were alive. There's a huge pile of leaves thrown in there, so they probably won't die. Chu Guang picked up the mushroom from the ground. He thanked them for the work done, let them go get water and wash themselves. They need to rest a little. He thought they had found something worthwhile. After some time, the mushrooms were already in the pan and were being cooked over the fire. Chu Guang looked at the players eating the dish with incredible greed and thought, it tastes like bland green bean soup. Do you really like it that much? 
Is it because he's a good cook? Chu Guang cleared his throat and asked where they got this from. Yan Feng replied contentedly that although he was unable to get a generator, they found a lot of blue mushrooms near the entrance to the drainage in the parking lot, so they decided to collect it. Yi shouted that he was the one who found this place. Then he asked, by the way, are mushrooms edible? Yan Feng asked if they could be used as an ingredient for a strengthening potion. Chu Guang smiled and said, edible enhancement potions? Don't let them make it up. These mushrooms are called blue angels. If you eat this, you can meet a real angel within an hour, of course, unless they are mutants and not susceptible to poisons. He remembered what old Charlie had said, blue cap mushrooms contain a repted substance that can effectively heal non-lethal damage caused by gamma rays. Merchants in Jushi City would buy this, and the price of these mushrooms is not small. Usually it is sent there and sold. Chu Guang said that although blue angels cannot be eaten, mushrooms are the main raw material for making radiation-reducing products. They were lucky they didn't go any further. These mushrooms usually grow next to the nests of mutant leeches. The players exclaimed, mutant leeches? Chu Guang replied that their cubs are the size of a palm, they are no different from ordinary leeches, except for their mouth. However, as adults, they quickly grow to a meter or more. The largest individuals can reach three meters. He heard that their feeding type also changes, they can devour a living person in one bite. Yuai and Yan Feng thought, yes, they were wandering near the gate to hell. So these sounds they heard were made by mutant leeches. Chu Guang reasoned, they say that they remember where the drain is. Yan Feng said what he marked on the map. Chu Guang took it in his hands and said that he understood. This player is becoming more and more useful. He said that they would both receive 220 points for this task. 200 for finding a nest and 20 for collecting blue mushrooms. Chu Guang thought he didn't expect that they would bring such finds this time. To be honest, such mushrooms are difficult to find, but he can't give it as a reward. Otherwise, they will start recklessly looking for blue angels to get points. If this happens, they will simply die there. He never thought that the mutant nest would be so close. In any case, it is better to pay attention until he finds the generator for the active matter extractor. But first he will deal with the mushrooms. There are about 2 kilograms of them. At the market price, for 50 grams you can get one chip, which means the total cost is 40 chips. Yes, this is his savings for 6 months. This price is set at the recycling center, but the actual cost should be twice as high. He said that he was going to replenish supplies, and for the sake of safety they would all stay here. Let them remember not to go too far, and at 5pm 7 we'll open the elevator so they can return to the shelter. He will calculate the results of their work, let them ask the robot if they don't understand something. After some time, one of the players said how strange it is if blue mushrooms are used to make products that reduce radiation levels, why did they only get 20 points for this? It's equivalent to cutting down trees. Usually the reward for a task is equal to its difficulty. They not only discovered new territories, but also collected new materials. That is, the reward should be greater. Yan Feng asked what he thinks are the reasons for this. Last time, the administrator told them that the first priority was survival. Yuai said, he seems to remember this. He usually skips dialogue in games. The player continued to reason. In this game, they were given freedom of choice. Missions can not only be issued by NPCs, but also launched by the players themselves. Yan Feng asked why he thought so. The player replied that today's tasks were given to them by the administrator after they voiced their assumptions. Although they did not find the generator, they discovered the mutant nest and collected the mushrooms, so they received the reward directly the other two players. So as long as their actions do not conflict with the current needs of the shelter, they can earn points. The reward directly depends on who did how much, Yan Feng said, he seemed to understand. You can also get points by completing tasks from the list, and an impressive amount. The player said that this was true, he also wanted to say this, remember the developer talked about the gratitude scale. Yuai asked what he understood there. Let their patience no longer be tested. The player said that the reward for completing tasks from the board is 100% guaranteed. And their active implementation can better reveal their abilities. This should help win the vocation of an administrator. Everyone thought it made sense. But these assumptions are based on the fact that Wasteland Online is a hyper-realistic game with full immersion, and that the behavior of the administrator was not pre-programmed and is regulated by the mechanics of the game. But if his intelligence is not as high as they assume, then this conclusion will be incorrect. However, he is much smarter than the seventh, as if there was a living person in front of them. 
Perhaps these characters are controlled by humans. Maybe there is some hidden cool plan. The dark-skinned man spoke, asking, is the administrator deceiving them? Iwai exclaimed, don't say that he is exploiting them. The white foal asked what they should do, but the player replied that there was no point in worrying about it now. The fact that the administrator may be a real person is only his assumption. Moreover, he not only did not harm them, but also saved them. He's more concerned about how to increase the NPC's appreciation before the second testing phase. He paused and then snapped his fingers. Why don't they team up so they have an advantage over other players from the start? Everyone agreed. UI said that he did not refuse, but he would like to know more about it. The players said that from now on they are a team. They will share information and help each other because they need to use their abilities. Guys can explore the shore of the lake in Wetland Park. Let them keep an eye on the mutants and their movements. If they find places similar to their nests, let them mark them on the map and remember not to go too close to them. You don't even need to try to fight the mutants. Their goal is a safe place where they can get water. EY thought that this guy just appointed himself as leader. The player added that he himself will continue to cut down trees with the white foal. He smiled and replied that later, when he left the game, he would look on the internet for a way to use wood. Sometime later, evening came. The man was leading a girl in shackles. Several marauders were smiling and discussing her appearance. It was a pity that such an appetizing woman would go to feed a pig. One of the guards shouted, asking what they were looking at. Let them unload the goods faster. Move and don't detain Mr. Lee. Old Charlie bowed to the man and said that he was the representative of the head of Bet Street and greeted him. Mr. Lee said that this woman was the product that their head ordered. Let them deliver it straight to him. And let the old man betray that now it is extremely difficult to find a product of the highest quality so he better take care of the product and not spoil it in a couple of days. The old man smiled and replied that he would deliver her safe and sound, as always. Chu Guang looked at what was happening and thought that the man named Lai was here again, and he also brought goods grown in tanks, and this is what there are rumors about. Previously, old man Charlie talked about the slave trade in Jushi. Chu Guang thought that he was lying and did not expect to see it with his own eyes. However, only the local leader can pay for this kind of luxury. The leader in Chu Guang's mind was an unpleasant looking man, but the more important thing is that the caravan with Jushi came here, so he has the opportunity to find a good buyer. Mr. Dewey Lee said that since the goods were unloaded, then everyone was free and rudely threw coins at them. The workers thanked him and asked him to take care of them next time. After some time, when the caravan was leaving the city, Chu Guang turned to Mr. Pasad Lai and asked if he had a free moment. The man turned around and asked who he was. Chu Guang replied that he had no bad intentions, he just wanted to sell something. He raised his hands up and thought that his nanocarbon body armor could buy him five seconds to escape, unless of course he was shot in the head. Mr. Li grinned Cell, is there a new scavenger on Bet Street? Chu Guang introduced himself, but Mr. Tier Lai replied that he didn't care. They don't cooperate with small traders, let them sell their garbage to old Charlie. Chu Guang smiled and asked if he was sure that two kilos of this stuff was trash. He opened the bags of mushrooms. Mr. Lee asked him where he got it. The young man replied that there was a mutant leech in the sewer next to the nest. Did he want to go and check it himself? The man waved his hand and answered not to be angry. What did he want for this? Chu Guang replied that since there are two kilograms here, he asks for 200 chips. But he thought that on Bet Street they give one for 50 grams, but it costs a lot more. Mr. Lai agreed and smiled, looking at his reaction. Chu Guang immediately thought that he had sold himself short. It was necessary to name the price higher than ten times. Their head is definitely selling this for a much higher price. Mr. Li hopes that old Charlie doesn't find out about their deal. Chu Guang replied that he didn't need problems either. Mr. Du Li said that the guy is smart. He can give him 200 chips right now, but he feels that later he will exchange them for some things. Why doesn't he just buy it from him right away? He'll save a lot more. He still has some stuff left. Maybe give him a 20% discount. What does the guy think about that? Chu Guang replied that he wanted to buy a firearm. Did he have one? He thought that the 20% discount was nonsense, but he had no reason to refuse, especially since it was cheaper than on Bet Street. Mr. Garsley snapped his fingers and replied that there was no problem with that. He took the rifle from the assistant's hands and said, This 9mm rifle with a sliding bolt and an iron barrel will cost the young man 200 chips. The seller can give him 30 rounds. One bullet is one chip. Fair deal. Chu Guang tried on the weapon and asked, 
is the price already discounted? Mr. Lee replied that if it is expensive for him, he can choose something cheaper, for example, a five-men caliber pistol in his hand costs 100 chips, it will be useful against looters, but you should not take it in a battle with mutants. Chu Guang thought displeasedly, even with a discount everything is expensive, what a greedy speculator. He said what he wanted, a 9mm rifle with 60 rounds of ammunition, and for 25 chips he needed food and other supplies. Mr. Lee asked, is he bargaining with him? Chu Guang confidently answered that there are more than two kilograms of mushrooms in the mutant leech's nest. Mr. Deer's lie understands what this means, right? The man asked, does the young man want him to invest in him? Chu Guang replied relaxedly, why not? He can bet that even at this price they can make a lot of money, and if he invests in it, he will get ten times more. Mr. Vesley replied that this was a good offer and wondered how much radiation reduction agent he could prepare if he took two kilograms of blue angels to Jushi. Not to mention a rifle, he could buy hundreds of them. He extended his hand and said that he rarely does business directly with scavengers, but he would make an exception for him. The guy interested him. Chu Guang thanked the man and shook his hand. Mr. Duras Lai said that he hoped they could continue to cooperate. Let him take a rifle with 60 rounds and some other ammunition. Chu Guang thanked him. The man replied that he should use it, and he thought he knew the best product somewhere near the place where the nuclear bomb fell. Chu Guang was packing the rifle. Mr. Du Lai said that few people are worthy of receiving chips from his hands, but the guy is an exception. Chu Guang smiled and said that it looks like Lady Luck is on his side. Mr. Kizzy Lee said with hope that this will continue, because their cooperation is just beginning. He himself knows that mushrooms grow next to the nests of these creatures. Chu Guang thought, right? Who knows how many leeches are hiding in the den? The worst thing is that firepower is ineffective against them. Moreover, they are incredibly tenacious and have a terrible ability to regenerate. Even if cut in half, these parts will form individual individuals. Minor wounds do not threaten them. It doesn't matter if they are flammable or not. If you start a fire, everything valuable will burn along with them. The losses will be huge. Mr. Desley put his hand on the guy's shoulder and said, He will come here again at the end of the month, for the last time this year. And he hopes that by then he will see 20 kilograms of blue mushrooms. For this amount, Chu Guang will receive 2,000 chips and can order something. It is not necessary to pick up something that others do not need. Chu Guang asked how he could find out what the seller had. He thought that the man was trying to rob him. Mr. Kutya Lee called an assistant to him with a tablet and said, There is a photo here. You need to scroll left and right to choose. Chu Guang looked at the catalog and thought that this charlatan had several good items. For example, night vision goggles or bulletproof vest. Mr. Lee said it seems the young man knows how to use it and won't have to teach it. He guarantees that the goods are the same as in the photo, and they are all of excellent quality. Chu Guang's gaze was drawn to the generator and the exoskeleton. Mr. Lee asked, did he choose something? While the KV-1 is a basic model, it's also the most durable as far as a generator goes. If he's worried about running out of electricity, he might as well buy a few batteries. He also offers exchange for a modest fee. A suitable energy battery costs only 150 chips. No matter how expensive it is to replace the battery, the price will not be more than 1,000. The exoskeleton can be worn under clothing, but not every scavenger can afford a generator. Why would he need it? Chu Guang replied that the man should not worry. He is not going to take him to Bet Street. It's better to dispel his doubts. Mr. Lee said that he doesn't care what the young man does. Even if he says that he sold him, Mr. Disley won't admit it. In the end, it would be Chu Guang who would be in trouble here. It's too late. They'll see each other next time. Chu Guang shouted after him, Is there a 20% discount on the items he ordered? Mr. Li replied that the items he saw were already at a discount and left. Chu Guang thought that the man was a real freak. Let him just wait. He will squeeze all the juice out of him. It's already getting dark. It's dangerous to return to the base. It's better to stay in the house for the night. On Bet Street, the seller shouted, There are only 30 pieces of juicy soap left. For just three chips, it can wash away all the disgusting odors from your body. Vegetable oil from Brown's Company, one liter for ten chips. You can split the amount in half with someone if it's too expensive for you. People crowded and shouted, Let me see, he only wants soap. A certain man asked old Charlie if he needed some coarse salt. Did he have it? Smoking tobacco, please. Old Charlie said wearily that he had salt and tobacco, but he was tired. 
let them choose for themselves while he rested a little. A tall man appeared in the crowd with a sign in his hands. He shouted that the order for a gathering was from the head of the city. Everyone needs to line up. By the end of the month, each house must provide 100 kilograms of wood and two square meters of furs. Let them give it to everyone. One of the men in the crowd said that the muster order always falls in August and September, so how can they survive this winter? Other residents answered, but if they disobey, they will be thrown out. Winter is coming. They won't all go out as a family to look for housing. An old man said that compared to the Brown Company, they have a little more freedom. Chu Guang thought that it looked like the chief was going to make a fortune before the last caravan of the year passed. He uses the exchanged supplies to spend the year in luxury. But this has nothing to do with the young man since he will leave before winter sets in. Chu Guang went straight to his hut, but before reaching the door, he saw that Yu Zaioyu and a certain young man were standing and arguing about something. Yu Zaioyu screamed and refused. Her senior friend asked her to look after the house. A young man who turned out to be the third son of the Yu family named Wang Defu asked her what was the point of guarding the house of a dead man. She almost attacked him with her fists, trying to prove that Chu Guang was not dead. Wang Defu recoiled and babbled, let her not lie. This stranger did not return home for four or five days. Wang Defu continued impatiently, doesn't the Yu family want their share? He does not intend to take everything for himself. He only needs the beams and the door of the house. She can take the rest. The girl ordered him to get lost. Wang Defu bit his lower lip and shouted angrily, let her get out already before he beats her. He swung, but Yu Zaioyu had no intention of leaving. How dare he hit other people? The young man replied, if he wants, he will hit. The brothers and father left anyway. Then Xu Guang grabbed his hand and asked who said that he died. Wang Defu broke out in a cold sweat and stared at Xu Guang. Yu Zaioyu exclaimed joyfully and quickly slipped behind Xu Guang, saying, Wang Defu came yesterday and wanted to destroy his house. And he almost hit her. Xu Guang thanked her for guarding the house and, hugging the girl, promised that while he was here, no one would dare to offend her. Yu Zaioyu was embarrassed. Chu Guang looked at Wang Defu with a grin and asked if he would leave on his own or should he be helped. Wang Defu trembled and saw the steel pipe behind Chu Guang. So he trembled and rushed away, shouting that he would definitely tell his father and brother about what had happened. Yu Zaioyu thanked Chu Guang. He was embarrassed and replied that they were just helping each other. But why does she keep looking like that? He took out a lollipop from his pocket and put it in the girl's hand, saying that she had done a good job. Yu Zaioyu happily tore the candy wrapper and stuffed the candy into her mouth while thanking Chu Guang. She said she had nothing to do anyway, so she could look after the house while he was gone. Chu Guang smiled. It looked more like someone just really wanted to get more candy. But she's a reliable person. It's worth it. At this moment, the men of the Yu family were returning home. One of them shouted, What is Yu Zaioyu doing here? As soon as she saw her elder brother, second brother and father, Yu Zaioyu quickly ran back to the house. Chu Guang wondered if the Yu family was forbidding her to communicate with him. They often talked to Yu Hu. Yu Hu stopped in front of Chu Guang and said that the guy had been gone for a long time. He had already decided that he had died. Chu Guang replied, it seems his intuition is failing him. The man exhaled, yes, Chu Guang is right. He must tell him that the head of the city has just issued a collection order, and each family must hand over 100 kilograms of wood and two square meters of furs by the end of the month. There are three men in their family, so they must provide 300 kilograms of wood and six square meters of furs. Chu Guang said that he had heard about this. Yu Hu asked how he was going to get all this. The Li family said there were signs of deer migration in the North Woods. If they can catch two of them, they will receive not only skins, but also meat. Doesn't he want to go with them? Chu Guang refused. He would think about solving the problem himself. He figured they were going to hunt in the north, and his park base was a little to the west of that area. At least they didn't cross paths. Yu Hu said, he sees that Chu Guang is a capable person, but even abilities have a limit. The Wang family has the courage to bully him because he is alone. He has an idea. His sister will be able to get married next year. If he is in a hurry, he can hold the ceremony today. Yu Hu patted the young man on the shoulder, smiling. Chu Guang choked when he heard his words and said that there was no need and ran away. Yu Hu thought, it's a pity. If they had a son, he could become as important a person as old man Charlie. In people's eyes, those who came from the shelter are very smart. Old Charlie helps the head of the city, so he is respected. The man thought that he needed to find a way. Chu Guang stopped to catch his breath. 
He thought that Brother Yu Zaioyu had gone crazy. Wants him to marry the child. Chu Guang's imagination flashed through the moments of their life together. He blushed, no, even if Yu Zaioyu was of marriageable age, he couldn't agree to this. Yu who took the things home and called his sister to him. On the second day, outside the hospital, White Foal scratched his head and said that freshly cut wood would crack and warp if not treated. Another player asked him what they should do. The man replied that there are several ways, for example, you can dry it over a fire or paint both ends and wait until the wood dries naturally. You can also throw it in the water, but if the logs get wet, it will be difficult to get them out. It will be good if there is no rain in the next few days. He roughly calculated that, based on the fruits of yesterday's labor, turning the collected logs into beams would be more than enough to repair the walls on the north and west sides of the hospital. The only thing is that these are untreated logs, so it is difficult to guarantee their strength. It can easily rot in a few days. The player thought about it and replied that they could use cement instead of building material. There was a lot of concrete debris in the wasteland and even in the hospital. The white foal replied that pieces of blocks cannot be used, but if you mix them with cement, then building concrete walls reinforced with reinforcement will not be difficult. Even though it will be a building made of tofu, it is better than wood. However, in order to use this concrete waste, cement must first be obtained. And to make cement, they first needed a sufficient amount of coal and a furnace that could withstand temperatures of up to 1 450 degrees. Just at this time, Yuai and Yan Feng returned. They made a great discovery. Yan Feng reported that there is a river east of Lingyu Lake that is not on the map. Apparently it was formed within 200 years. Yuai said that they walked around the entire coast from the eastern part to the southern part. He took out a map, and Yan Feng said that the mutants' nests are marked with crosses, and safe places where you can get water are marked with circles. It was not yet evening, and Yan Feng asked what was in his bucket. Is it really cement? He replied that he discovered it by the river. Yuai expected to meet a charming NPC, but there was only dirt. Yan Feng decided that it could be used for construction, so they brought it. The white foal bent over the bucket and said that this material cannot be used as a building material. It will be washed away by the first rain. He stretched out his hand and took some clay, and rubbing it with his thumb and forefinger, said with a suddenly excited expression on his face that this material was a good raw material for creating a furnace. Iwai asked which oven. The player replied that they were just discussing ways to create cement. Yan Feng asked, is he sure that this can be done? The white foal replied, why not? They're in the game. This place is an incredibly realistic sandbox. Nothing is beyond your control here. He energetically ordered the work to begin. And he said that this amount of dirt was not enough to build a stove. We need to get a few more buckets. Iwai and Yan Feng agreed, although they exchanged looks of incomprehension. Yuai thought questioningly, is this man a construction foreman? It looks like he is used to ordering people around and only wants them to carry bricks. The white foal turned to another player and said that they would continue to cut down trees. We need to give the administrator an incredible surprise. After some time, cries for help were heard from the forest. Yuai and Yan Feng appeared running away from the mutant. Yan Feng fell and the monster was ready to attack him, and then Chu Guang woke up. It was just a nightmare. He thought that because of these four, everything he had stored for five months was almost gone. Chu Guang imagined Yi Wai shouting until the esteemed administrator returns, everyone is forbidden to rest. Another player answered him that people need rest, they cannot work on electricity like him. He wondered what they were doing now, even though he was still worried about Seven being around them. The girl's voice called him, asking if he was at home. Chu Guang thought, what is she doing here so early? He opened the door and asked Yu Zaioyu what happened to her. The girl, smiling, handed him a cookie and said that it was for him. Chu Guang was embarrassed. The girl said that she would tell him a secret. Her second brother told her to bring it to him, and he also told her to say she made the cookies for him. Chu Guang thought that he did not expect such deceit from Yu Hu. He asked why she told him this. Yu Zaioyu smiled and replied that she did not want to lie. Then Wang Defu came up and asked, Is this loser also going hunting? Chu Guang said, oh, here comes Wang Defu and his brother. He told Yu Zaioyu not to be afraid and go into the house. Standing in front of him was the Wang family's eldest son and Wang Defu's elder brother. The young man mockingly wished Chu Guang not to die while hunting. His brother grabbed him by the shoulder and told him to stop chattering. Although Wang Defu was still somewhat indignant, he quickly calmed down. 
Chu Guang glanced at the eldest son of the Wang family, and the powerfully built man looked back. This guy is no ordinary guy. Chu Guang stopped and turned around. Xiaoyu peeked out from behind the door of Yu's house, spying on him. Chu Guang smiled and said lightly that he had to go. The girl replied that he should be careful, she will take care of his house and will wait here. He thanked her and thought that she was without a doubt a charming girl, but she was still too young and needed to wait a few years. He will think about marriage when she grows up. The gates to Bet Street slowly opened and survivors, carrying backpacks, bows and arrows, short knives, crossbows and other weapons, made their way in small groups towards the devastated ruins. Chu Guang approached old man Charlie and said that he needed 7 kilograms of green wheat, there are 21 chips. Does he have tobacco leaves to make jerky? How much can you get for 4 chips? The old man replied, 51 grams for 1 chip. Chu Guang asked to give him 200 grams. Brown farm tobacco leaves are rich in the aromatic compounds resin and catalic acid. Even if the meat is smoked without salt, its shelf life can be extended by several months. Chu Guang thought that even though supplies were running out, it would be easier to hunt with a firearm and the excess meat would no longer be wasted. The man threw him 7 kilograms of green wheat. He asked, I think a few days ago a guy bought 5 kilograms. Chu Guang asked, what is the problem? Old Charlie replied that there was no problem, it wasn't that bad to stock up. He suddenly realized the problem. It has been a long time since he brought back useful trash or other crops, but two times in a row he acquires a large supply of food. If the head finds out about this, he will decide that he is forming a gang. And then it is quite possible that he will find people to kill him. Chu Guang felt a little jealous of those heroes of survival games who could carry a bunch of things on their backs and make their way through the rubble, while he himself could only walk with heavy steps. Old Charlie remarked that he needed a bull. The young man thought that he was right. These things are quite heavy. I wonder if Lister would agree to sell one of his two-headed cows. The old man wished him to be careful. Chu Guang waved his hand and thought that he needed to leave quickly. Although the old man is kind to him, because he is from the shelter, he still works for the head of the city. One of the players shouted that the administrator had returned. Chu Guang couldn't believe his eyes. He didn't remember giving the task to build a furnace. Evening had not yet greeted Chu Guang. He had finally returned. Chu Guang said that he spent the night in the open air. He asked how they were doing. Had they met any mutants or other survivors? Not Evening yet replied that they had not met anyone, but they managed to build kilns. With this, they will be able to make coarse cement. First you need to burn tree bark to obtain ash, then mix it with water to then filter the potassium water. They will dry what is left over to extract calcium hydroxide and calcium carbonate to make cement. All that remains is to place all the raw materials in the oven and burn it until it turns red-orange. Then mix it with water and river sand and get cement. Chu Guang thought that to be honest, he also tried to make cement from this mixture, but everything he created immediately fell apart. This method did not work. It looks like he was completely wrong. It's not surprising that nothing worked for him. The player said that they want to restore the walls of the hospital with cement, but they saved the potassium water. It can be used to tan leather, which can be very useful for them. Chu Guang praised them for their excellent work, and he himself fearfully wondered what to reward them with. Evening has not yet replied that he is incredibly happy to share with him the time of the revival of civilization. He wanted the administrator's appreciation to definitely increase. Ey shouted, he said that they were a team, how could he take all the credit for himself? He pounced and began to choke the guy. It's not fair that he takes all the reward for himself. Not yet Evening replied that they had misunderstood. This was not his intention. Chu Guang said that they had all worked hard, and as a reward for their efforts, he would give them an assistant. He thought that physical work such as chopping trees and moving bricks could help strength tight players level up faster. Should he find such players to help them? Yuai advised the administrator to find a girl this time. Everyone else liked this idea just as much. Only the white foal suggested inviting a muscular woman. Chu Guang was confused, but said that he would take into account their wishes and let them continue to work. The players told him to rely on them and stood at attention. One of them said that his mission was to serve the administrator. He swears before the banner of the Federation of Humanity. Chu Guang thought, does he even know what it looks like? One of them rushed to cut more wood at a trot, and everyone else followed him. Chu Guang thought that he should just let them develop freely. And he needs to unload supplies. With this amount of food, he can feed another batch of players. After some time, he carried the supplies into his office. 
he noticed that he had received another award and received points. The system alert stated that the administrator exchanged seven bonus points for random boxes. Exchange completed successfully. Five Chupa Chups, a 200 gram chocolate bar, and a 500 gram package of table salt. Chu Guang thought that he would like more salt. This amount is only enough to prepare several dishes, but not enough for preserving meat. Although, if he exchanged this for unrefined salt from the city of Jushi, he could get 20 or even 30 times more salt. But refined salt is in second place in value after weapons. If he is not strong enough to protect himself, the risks associated with commercial salt are simply not worth it. First, you need to focus on building your base. Chu Guang looked at the discussion in the game chat. It seems that the new members are nothing of themselves, although these four players are doing a good job of advertising the game. One of the chat participants wrote that he has no experience in repairing stoves, but he knows about wood, such as dry distillation. Liquid products consisting of acetic acid, acetone, and methanol can be obtained by filtering condensates collected by pyrolyses of wood. Chu Guang thought, is this user a chemist? There is no need to talk about the importance of obtaining ethanol and methanol, but acetone alone is quite valuable as a raw material for making smokeless powder. He clicked on the member's profile. This guy knows a lot. I wonder what kind of person he is. Looks like he sells furniture. Perfect. With his knowledge, they will be able to use all the collected wood wisely. He sent him a private message asking if he would like to participate in a closed test. Somewhere on planet Earth, this participant received a notification. He read the message that Chu Guang sent him and asked who he was. Chu Guang replied that he was the developer of Wasteland Online. He could call him Light, the man exclaimed. This is a big shot from a gaming company. Why did he write to him? He typed whatever he wanted, but can he prove that he really is the developer of this game? Chu Guang sent him a link and told him to follow it to book and get an answer to his question. The man asked if he would need to pay. He is here. He wondered if he should try. Even though the internet is full of scammers, what if this game is real? The man sent a request and asked what else he needs to do. Chu Guang replied to send him the application number. He will register it in the system and notify him in three days when he needs to log in. Chu Guang thought that now they have a carpenter, what other talents are needed in the base? He noticed that this man wrote in the general chat that he would participate in the beta test. Another user asked him how this was possible since he was the first to submit the request. Chu Guang sighed, of course he immediately went to show off. We need to find a way to calm these players down. He wrote that the purpose of the closed beta test is to improve the game. At this stage, it is necessary to test how ready the various mechanics are, so they are looking for players with special knowledge to act as guinea pigs. One of the participants answered him that he also wants to be such a rabbit. He has been driving a car for seven years, after which other players began to swear. The only thing Chu Guang could write was that they should wait a couple more days. Soon a hundred selected candidates will be announced and everyone has a chance. He wondered if he needed to take more people. Since there are more than 10 kilograms of food and a gun on the base, he can also start hunting. The appearance of two more people should not be a problem, of course, they have food, which means there must be someone who will cook it. So you need to look for a chef. Chu Guang wrote in the chat that they needed a chef to test the cooking mechanics. As soon as he did this, players began to respond to him, declaring their skills. And how should he choose? Who knows how to cook one or two dishes? All you need is your hands. Then his gaze fell on a message where the man sent his photo with a certificate and an award. Chu Guang grinned. This is exactly what he needs. On the third floor of the abandoned hospital, Seven met Chu Guang. He had finally returned to him. Chu Guang asked what happened. The seventh replied that he had one division left on the battery charge scale. Chu Guang waved his hand. He thought it was something else, but then he turned to stone. Where can I look for a place to charge it? The seventh explained that his body has a port for wireless charging. You just need to return to the shelter for a while. Chu Guang thought that's why he didn't see a single socket and the computer without a system unit never turned off. So it is also wireless powered. He turned to the seventh. They will charge him and took the assistant in his arms. The robot turned to the administrator and said that he remembered the power system. Their shelter is powered by a thermonuclear reactor. Chu Guang couldn't believe his ears. What other thermonuclear reactor? The seventh replied that it could generate energy for a very long time. Chu Guang, frightened, thought that this was very wonderful. We need to figure out a way to steal electricity. The seventh added that now the reactor is probably not in the best condition. 
It is now 2340. A lot of time has passed since the shelter was built. Chu Guang became cold and asked what would happen if the electricity ran out. The seventh replied that he did not know because, according to the plan, this shelter should have been opened 100 years ago. He doesn't know why this event was delayed for a century, but he shouldn't be too pessimistic. The energy room of Vault 404 should be on the third floor. If the administrator unlocks this level and replaces the fuel rods in time, everything will be fine. Chu Guang thought that in words, this is all easy, but where should he look for fuel rods for a nuclear reactor? He lowered the robot to the ground and said that it could go charge. The seventh thanked him. Chu Guang thought that in the short term, there should not be any big problems, despite the fact that the opening of the shelter had been delayed for a hundred years. During this time, it was not running at full capacity and had to be in power-saving mode. It's possible the remaining electricity can be used for decades to come, but for now, he's more worried about the coming winter. He doesn't have much time left to prepare. Chu Guang came out of the shelter. On the street, he noticed an even larger number of stoves and could not believe his eyes. The players greeted him. He said that he had gone down to the lower floors for a while. Were all these stoves the white foals idea? He replied that this was possible thanks to the hard work of all the players. Chu Guang replied that the man should not be modest. He sees his merits. The organization will not forget his contribution. In addition, on behalf of the organization, he will give each of them 1,000 points as a thank you for discovering cement, as well as for building materials. Everyone clearly loved the idea. Chu Guang added that from now on, he will be the head of the construction team of Shelter 404. He will be able to use his creativity to design the construction of the outpost, but he cannot go beyond the plan. The white foal bowed and said that he had done everything in his power to build their house in the best possible way. Yiwai wondered why only he received the extra reward. Chu Guang asked the man to talk about his idea. He put his hand to his temple and replied that yesterday, after leaving the game, he was exploring a cement plant. The worker told him that if you add iron powder to the cement, it will become stronger and more durable. Since the wasteland is full of rusty metal, he mixed it with coal. They used coal as a reducing agent to produce iron by calcination, then burned the resulting iron slag along with wood ash cement. It is not possible to produce large quantities of cement using these earthen kilns alone. Therefore, he plans to use all the cement obtained at the initial stage for the construction of industrial facilities to further increase cement production. Chu Guang thought it was a good idea, but how much can you get from the bark? White Foal replied that for this reason they needed a professional oven that could withstand temperatures up to 1450 degrees. Then they will be able to make cement containing calcium carbonate by burning limestone and clay, completely replacing wood ash. Chu Guang replied that he had thought through everything well. Let him continue to follow his plan. The man nodded. Chu Guang added that in a few days, the two new players will wake up from their slumber and join their team of professionals. He plans to hold a small banquet to welcome them. At these words, everyone became noticeably happier. Chu Guang added that he needed to get some game, but he couldn't treat them to porridge. Who wants to go hunting with him? Everyone raised their hands up. Chu Guang cleared his throat and said that he didn't need so many people, but since Yiwai has the ability of intuition, he will go with him. Yiwai was pleased. Before leaving the shelter and going hunting, Chu Guang asked Yiwai to take him to the mutant's lair. Yiwai said that they found them in the drain. Chu Guang replied that it was good that they did not move on. We need to move on. This is not their goal today. Yiwai asked, weren't they going to go hunting? Then why are they moving further and further away from the forest? Chu Guang replied that there was also a forest ahead and began to pull out his pipe. This was the northern region of Kinquin. This is truly a real forest. Yiwai looked at the destroyed houses, a bunch of trees growing on the ground. Chu Guang told the guy to be extremely attentive from now on. After the start of the apocalypse, this place became a real paradise for mushrooms and plants. Gradually, wild animals began to fill the cities under the influence of three factors, radiation, biological weapons, and time. They turned into various mutants, collectively called others. Chu Guang replied that security here is on a completely different level. Yiwai asked again in fear, is it really that bad? And then I happily thought that finally getting to know new monsters in the game is exciting. Chu Guang asked him to stay close and not nod off. Suddenly he heard a voice and said that it was very strange looking at the building. Yiwai asked confusedly from behind, what is it? Chu Guang replied that there are traces of the life activity of survivors. Yiwai asked in fear, which natives of the wasteland survived? 
Finally, they will meet new NPCs. Chu Guang told him to put aside his impatience. There is nothing to be happy about because in such places strangers are more dangerous than animals. Gunpowder with a high sulfur content, push pins and pieces of iron. There are probably predators or mutants nearby. There are no other reasons for installation and tripwires in populated areas. This is intended for those who will not be able to notice this, so it does not pose any particular danger to humans. Judging by the smell, not much time passed after the explosion, about five hours, or maybe even less. He asked you why when he was getting out. Did he hear the sound of an explosion? The guy answered negatively, and then Chu Guang turned around and walked forward, saying to wait for him here. Iwai asked what he was up to. Chu Guang replied that he wanted to look around a little, and the player was about to go with him. But the administrator turned around with a scary face and seriously said that the player should wait for him here. Iwai thought that it was better not to mess with this guy. He might just drive him away. All he had to do was accept his will. Chu Guang thought that he wanted to use the player as bait, but now the situation has changed a little. Their potential enemy is a group of predators or mutants. The bait is useless. They can, on the contrary, scare them away. This place is too close to the shelter of too much smoke. There will always be an extra danger. If someone decides to become a threat to them, he will not hesitate to take action. Chu Guang looked around the crowd of mutant rats looking at him. He swung the pipe and killed everyone. He said, there were about 20 pieces, too few for the nest, a little more, and it would be much more difficult to deal with them. Chu Guang walked out into the open and noticed tents with lights burning. The stronghold and the survivors are divided into two categories. The first settles in houses that have not been badly damaged. The others live in ruins or open space, depending on the conditions around them. Usually these are mutants whose average height exceeds 2 meters and weighs 300 kilograms. They eat everything from plant mushrooms to the meat of mutated insects and mice. Of course, the most important delicacy for any of them is human flesh. Well, of course, there was a mutant sentry standing there. If he and Yi had continued on their way, they would have been ambushed before they even reached the crossroads. Chu Guang is sweating. There are so many obstacles that he can't even count them. Judging by the size of this mutant camp, there should be between 20 and 30 mutants. These mutants are not easy to deal with. Then a system window with a new mission appeared in front of him. He thought that this was not just like that. After receiving such a mission, we can safely say that he was offended. Kill the mutants because they want him dead. Is it possible to receive missions outside the shelter? It turns out that the system can only be opened in the shelter. No matter how much he tried, he couldn't do it. But the mission was apparently possible. But 200 bonus points sound very tempting. For the last mission, he received only 100. But here they offer 200. Chu Guang returned back to Yi Wai. Obviously, completing this mission will not be so easy. Yiwai asked what did the administrator see there. Chu Guang immediately replied that there was a mutant camp there. Yiwai asked if they would go there. Chu Guang turned around and asked, Yiwai wants to fight them. What if they eat them? If you think about it, they only have one gun, so only one person can fight. Yiwai grabbed his head and thought that all the mutants in this game are usually NPCs. And now after hearing what the administrator said, must mutants be their opponents? In addition, they feed on people. Chu Guang said that now is not the right moment to provoke these creatures. You need to prepare better and concentrate your efforts on driving them away, and then get rid of them once and for all. He gritted his teeth, but they are unlucky, and the camp on 76th Street is located directly opposite the eastern gate of the park. In any case, they must be careful. They were already heading back when Yuai noticed the limestone. With this, you can rebuild two buildings. As soon as the white foal discovers the technology of burning cement, you won't have to worry about raw materials for it. They arrived at the camp, the players greeted them, and paying attention to the two bodies of hyenas, they asked what it was. Chu Guang replied that these are mutant hyenas. Their carcasses are quite capable of feeding everyone for some time. But he has more important news than food, both good and bad. The white foal immediately asked what good news. Chu Guang replied that the good news is that along the overpass leading out of the city, there is an abandoned construction site and they found a pile of limestone there that was similar to disulfurized. They also found a couple of wheelbarrows that could be used after some minor repairs. The white foal exclaimed, this is great. He was so worried that he would not be able to find raw materials for cement and did not think that the problem would be solved so quickly. Not yet evening became wary and asked what the bad news was. Chu Guang replied that there was a mutant camp directly east of the park along 76th Street. 
According to his calculations, there are a little more than 20 of them there. Iwai said that mutants are their enemies, they are strong in battle and feast on human flesh, they need to be careful. Chu Guang thoughtfully said that mutants are not something that they are able to cope with now. These guys are clearly not lower than the 10th level. Russian will not only bring nothing good, but will also give away their location. From now on, all of them are prohibited from approaching 76th Street or going beyond the east gate of the park until the threat is eliminated. All the players put their hand to their temple and said it will be done. Chu Guang thought about what to do with the carcasses. He had already tried hyena meat, but he bought it at a stall on Bet Street, and he had never dealt with meat before. For the last five months, he has been earning points by collecting resources and does not have much hunting experience. But he heard that the prey must be immediately bled, otherwise the meat will begin to rot, but it is not clear how to cook it afterwards. Yan Feng raised his hand and called the administrator. He asked for some hyena blood. Chu Guang asked why he needed this. The player replied that he wanted to test some of his guesses, and for this he needed blood. Chu Guang cut off the hyena's leg and handed it to the guy. Although Yan Feng did not show that it was very scary, he took the leg and thanked the administrator. In the evening, all the completed stoves were smoking, and the white foal turned to the administrator and said that thanks to his sensitive leadership, the stove was almost ready. Tomorrow when it dries they can start producing the first batch. Chu Guang replied with a smile that it was great, thanks to the players, they were one step closer to their goal of revival. He hopes that they will continue in the same spirit. Their contribution is very valuable. The white foal put his hand to his temple and said that he was obeying the administrator. He went to work full of enthusiasm. Chu Guang thought that he had become an increasingly skilled flatterer lately, but the other players didn't seem to care too much and were finding joy in their current activities. Roughly speaking, this is a standard survival game. It's so nice to watch how your home is transformed, of course. He's glad that they like to do this. Their shelter is now too poor, and he won't be able to give them anything as a reward. All he can do now is guide them in every possible way. Chu Guang entered his office and thought that the situation here had cleared up a little. We need to see what was happening in other places, he entered the group. He noticed how players wrote messages about everything that was happening in the game. Are they too active? It's good that there are more and more subscribers, but it looks like that guy still believes in fully immersive online games. Chu Guang thought, has not evening already begun to gain subscribers? He clicked on the official forum, the post will be long, the latest update post attracted a lot of people. The entry was called about the experience of closed beta testing. Today is the third day of closed testing, thanks to the successful firing of cement ash from the plant, they built a large kiln under the leadership of the administrator. If tomorrow's test firings are successful, they will have a reliable building material for their homes. Not yet evening must give credit to the production team, the game gave him an experience that he could not have dreamed of before, along with the completion of the construction of the furnace came a feeling of accomplishment that does not leave him. There's not much to share, they were busy baking today, but it's worth noting that today, the administrator told them about the mutant camp on 76th Street. They have been identified as enemies, all players need to be careful to avoid them. The administrator has not revealed any more information about them. At the moment, there is no information on the official website, perhaps this thread is not ready yet. If new information appears, he will add it to the post, so let readers remember to stay tuned. Chu Guang thought that users with good ideas should be given priority in the next recruitment. In the game discussion chat, all users highly praised the written text. Chu Guang said that he could reap the benefits of a hard day's work. He got up from the table and stretched. He opened the system. It said that he had completed several missions today. There aren't many rewards, so he'll just open the box. Chu Guang pressed the button to open, and several candies appeared from the container on the conveyor again. Chu Guang was furious. This is a terrible system. Is that all that came out? Then he noticed an unusual candy. It looked simply amazing. The system reported that this improved chocolate-flavored lollipop gives 10% more strength and lasts 10 hours. Chu Guang almost burst into tears. Finally, fate smiled on him again. 10% to strength. What kind of technology is this? He scratched his head for a whole 10 hours. 10% to strength really sounds good. At a critical moment, it can really turn the tide of the battle. You can thank the box for this lollipop, he will simply eat it during the fight. Chu Guang put it away in his jacket, no matter, he would save it for a rainy day, because it's always nice to have an ace up his sleeve. 
In the morning, the players return to the game. Now that the materials have been collected, they can begin to ignite. First you need to crush the limestone. The white foal grabbed a sledgehammer and began to break it. Now you need to mix this with iron filings and clay. Two other players poured out the contents of the buckets. The next step is to heat the oven to 1450 degrees. Not yet evening said that he would help make this fire stronger and began to rub the wooden stick. He added, by the way, how to determine the temperature in the oven. The white foal replied that he did not know. The player was stunned. How dare he say such a thing? The white foal started screaming. Did he have a thermometer lying around somewhere? Stop talking nonsense. Let's get down to business. Let the stove heat up harder, and that's it. He immediately wondered where he could get a generator. It was not yet evening that this guy, ever since he became the head of construction, looked more and more like some kind of foreman. Then he looked back and noticed that Yi Wai and Yan Feng had run away. Chu Guang was leaving the shelter, seeing two guys. He asked what they were doing. They approached him with buckets. Chu Guang asked where they were. The players replied that they were near the mutant camp. After these words, the administrator immediately became angry. Didn't he tell them not to go there? Ey shouted that they didn't come close, they just set traps there. He added that they obtained the cubs of mutated leeches. The buckets actually contained flasks with small slugs. Chu Guang said in fear and disgust, mutated leeches, I wonder how they caught them. He had never heard of anyone managing to catch them before. These are mutated insects rich in protein, but they contain many parasites that cannot be completely eliminated. They cannot be eaten. The players let it slip that they used animal blood to lure them into the bottles. Large specimens did not fit into the bottles, but small ones fit just perfectly. Yan Feng added that they forage for food at night and return to the nest at dawn. Almost all the bottles are intact, except for a couple. Initially, he did this as an experiment, but it really worked. He was clearly pleased with himself. Chu Guang said that this was a good idea and thought. So that's why he asked him for meat and blood yesterday. So in order to attract leeches, he just doesn't know what he's going to do with them, but he's sure they're inedible. Yan Feng said that he would like to use them as bait for fishing. Chu Guang was surprised. Use it for fishing. Yan Feng himself answered that when he explored the area around the lake, he saw huge black birds fishing there. If there are fish in the lake, they can get their food by fishing. Chu Guang thought this was a great idea. He had already tried fishing because it was a less risky activity compared to hunting. Only he is a mediocre fisherman. It's hard to catch fish with a professional fishing rod and tackle, and even more so without it. Well, he's sure that the problem is not his. If it were so easy to catch fish, wouldn't the survivors then settle near reservoirs? All the fish that are found in the water now are also mutants, and they are very different. Well, with leeches as bait, the situation is different because these creatures have a paralyzing effect. Chu Guang asked, can he fish? Yan Feng replied in the negative, but he planned to make a couple of fishing traps. Chu Guang said that he was leaving it to him. The players rejoiced and ran away. Chu Guang thought wearily that since these guys had gone about their business, it was time to return to hyena meat. Yesterday, he tried to cook it in a familiar way, rolling the meat in crushed tobacco leaves and then frying it over a fire. The resin from the leaves penetrates the fatty layer of meat and kills parasites and other microorganisms there. He smelled the meat, maybe it was his imagination, but did it smell somehow bad? It clearly shouldn't be this way. Under normal conditions, meat prepared in this way has a delicate aroma and is slightly shiny on the outside, but his piece was too dark and at the same time raw inside. And with the smell of rot, what did he do wrong? Chu Guang thought deeply. He definitely won't eat it. It would be nice if he had a generator for the refrigerator. He needs blue mushrooms. But now it's only the second week of September, and we'll have to wait for Mr. Lee's caravan until the end of the month. There's no time to think about it now. He can't wait until the end of the month to start stocking up. And given the current state of their shelter, he can't afford such a luxury as a refrigerator. For the next three days, he went hunting in the morning, returned in the afternoon, and cooked meat for the players, and then thought about what they should do with the meat. His research into meat harvesting may not be going well yet, but the good news is that thanks to hunting in the last three days, he was able to get seven bonus points. At about 10 o'clock, he realized that he had already collected everything and so decided to open the box. Fortunately, this time it was not candy, but a bottle of soy sauce. He doesn't know what kind of company this is, but it will definitely improve the taste of the food. The players were sitting near the cauldron with food, and Yuai said that he was already sick of the stew. He was so excited when he found out that you can eat in the game, 
but now he understands how useless it is. They constantly simmer everything until it becomes a puree, and if his mouth is still able to withstand this, then his intestines are already coping with great difficulty. They probably haven't fully worked out the taste system, because the taste shouldn't be like that. Evening had not yet noticed that the food was not salty, not fresh, but simply fatty and a little bitter. It's better to eat wheat. The white foal replied that the smell was too strong, he had to use cooking wine, ginger and garlic to at least subdue it a little, but they were in the wasteland. You can't get all this, and you need to come to terms with it. They will definitely have delicious food in the future. The player thought that having become the head of construction, this guy constantly promotes the game developers and also proposes his own idea. But he is right, since the marking makes the product exclusive, he will not be surprised if he has to pay for even basic things in the future. Yiwai said that he hopes that the next update will include seasonings, he is ready to fork out for them. Another player said that he was wondering how to improve the trap, could it be bought for Yuan? Yiwai asked the man how things were going with the roasting. He replied that the quality could be improved, but it felt like success was close. Yiwai thought that he liked to show off. The white foal said that it's not just a matter of cement, they are now trying to make bricks, but without a mold it doesn't work out very well, and when fired it looks even worse. Can't you use wood to make a mold? Another player replied, does he really think it's that simple? It is not just cutting down wood for him, making a mold is a real painstaking skill that will not make him a master of survival who build beautiful buildings. He just got stuck with this problem, it's all the harsh settings of the wasteland that are to blame. Yan Feng thought that he was telling the truth, all these days he was engaged in research, set several traps, but never caught anything. Perhaps those birds had long ago stolen all the fish, and the remaining fish simply ate his bait and swam away. They ate almost all of his leeches, he had very little left, but it doesn't matter, he needs to try to restore the fish population in the lake, and then catch it when it relaxes its vigilance. The white foal spoke, he heard that new players will soon join them. Then it would be good if they were girls. Suddenly they heard sounds approaching and turned around. Chu Guang came out of the shelter and said that he would introduce their new comrades. The players saw with horror that it was two men. The new arrivals were smiling. One of them was called Scrambled Eggs with Tomatoes, and the other was called Mosquito in the Toilet. Chu Guang thought what kind of stupid names they had and said that they should greet the new ones. Everyone else made no sign that they wanted to meet women. The players approached the pot of meat, the warmth and aroma enveloping the soul, how realistic. The white foal asked them what characteristics they had. The mosquito in the toilet said that he was very clever. And scrambled eggs with tomatoes asked if they cared about his physique. Yiwai said that initially the welcoming ceremony was supposed to be official, but something did not go according to plan. We need to eat first, they just joined. He served a bowl of food, scrambled eggs with tomatoes, and a mosquito in the toilet. The latter thought that this dregs looked like poison. Often in such games you can die if you eat something wrong, then you have to wait for resurrection, but this is his first chance to eat in the game. How can he miss it? He must try so that they don't say he will do it. The man took a sip from the bowl and shouted that the taste was simply disgusting. How can a game feed this? The player noticed that if he did not eat, he would experience hypoclimia. But he really didn't think the food in the game would turn out like this. Usually in the game, there is a beauty who cooks and wants to feed you delicious food. The second player sniffed the bowl and asked what kind of dregs this was. The white foal replied that it was meat. Scrambled eggs with tomatoes, I was surprised. Is this meat? The white foal said that it was the flesh of a mutated hyena, although they are not entirely sure. Maybe it was a dog. In any case, it is definitely a mutant. After these words, Mosquito spat out the dish in the toilet. He took a sip of the scrambled eggs with tomatoes, and a look of horror appeared on his face. He asked what was that rotten smell, did they let them bleed? All the players immediately replied that they did not know this, it was brought to them by the NPC. If he cooks well, he should discuss this with the administrator, they all have useful skills. The man hugged the player, who replied that then he would be happy to try. The second player asked if they needed carpenters. He's good at it. The white foal shouted, is he a carpenter? and grabbed him by the shoulders. The man was stunned to say that his family makes handmade furniture. If he is interested in this, he can subscribe to their account, there will be a discount on the purchase. Before he had time to look back, two players grabbed his hands, they said that they needed someone who would make forms for them. He shouted that he hadn't finished eating yet, one of the players replied, what's so difficult about asking for another portion later? 
It's not even very tasty. It's better for them to show him how to play this game. In his mind, scrambled eggs with tomatoes was clearly not what the game was about. Did he think this game was really difficult? EY replied, confused, that it would do. Yan Feng probably answered just as uncertainly. This reaction confused the new player even more. EY said that in any case, there is no need to wait for special content yet, right? Scrambled eggs with tomatoes went cold, and these are all the answers. Although, it took him a lot of effort to get into closed testing. First you need to look around. At this time, the carpenter asked, do they know how to handle wood at all? Just look, it's already covered in mold. The white foal thought, is this guy really a carpenter? At this time, the man sawed a lot of boards and asked, is this enough? The white foal said that this was more than enough. He thanked him. The mosquito in the toilet replied that if he needed anything, he should just tell him. The white foal said that he would be glad to work with him in the future and smiled. After some time, the players were already building brick walls. This oven is much better than the previous one. Will they succeed? The white foal replied, you need to be sure. There is no room for questions here. Two men stood over the stove and thought. The white foal said that they need to go. Let him burn himself in peace. As for the new furnace, it seems to him that they are on the verge of a breakthrough. They need to try hard and do as much as possible before leaving the game. Chu Guang thought that these guys are working harder and harder, and the new guys are not messing around. EY thanked the carpenter at this time. The fish trap is now ready. The mosquito in the toilet said that he decided to slightly alter the traditional shape of the trap, and also replaced the fragile wooden slats with metal to make the main structure stronger. Thanks to his improved trap, no fish will escape from them anymore. Time to go fishing. They were all clearly happy. Chu Guang thought that he shouldn't sit idle either. He should go back to cooking hyena meat. He sat and held a piece of meat. Then he heard a voice. Scrambled eggs with tomatoes came up to him and asked what he was doing here. Chu Guang thought, if he remembers correctly, this guy is a certified chef. He said he was trying to figure out a way to cook the meat and the player was just in time. From now on, he is appointed as the cook of outpost number 404. Chu Guang grabbed him by the shoulders and said that the situation they are now facing is very serious. In addition to construction, it is necessary to prepare food for hundreds of comrades who will arrive to them before the onset of winter. He simply must help him. The man thought that he really was a chef, and he had to cook a couple of times for his fellow chefs, but he did not expect that he would have to cook in the game. Will he really not be able to change his profession, even in the game? This clearly upset him. He asked how he could help. Chu Guang replied that he tried to store meat, but failed. He needs the player to solve the problem of storing food. He read the player's dossier. It indicated that he had relevant experience. The man replied that he knows a little, but this is a game. He's not sure his experience will be useful here. Chu Guang replied that everything was fine. He just needed professional advice. Let him help him understand what is wrong with the recipe he is trying to reproduce. The man looked at the piece of meat and thought that instead of saying what exactly he did wrong, it was easier for him to say what he did right. He said that first of all, you need to smoke meat indoors. His method is not suitable for this. Is this meat seasoned with something? Chu Guang replied that these were tobacco leaves. This is a very rare resource. The survivors use these leaves for a rich aroma. Using a special resin instead of table salt, they crush it and add it to foods. When heated, the aroma of the leaf mixes with the fat of the meat and creates a canning effect. Scrambled eggs with tomatoes, I thought. Is this possible? Some compounds can indeed be used as food preservatives, but this is the first time he has heard of food being prepared this way. He said that you can smoke meat without salt, but the taste will be so-so, so he doesn't quite understand how the described method works. However, food prepared this way is unlikely to be healthy. Chu Guang thought stunned, was it possible to do without salt? Pests need moisture to survive, and the smoking process removes moisture from the meat. Dehydrating it in salt will keep it much better and taste much better. But if you do everything correctly, you can do without salt, of course, if the meat is fatty. It will be more difficult to process, but it all depends on the type of meat. No matter how things turned out, he couldn't preserve this, it wouldn't work. Chu Guang thought that if there was no way to make food especially for them, this would be a real gold mine. However, no matter how idiotic these guys were, they still managed to survive until this moment. And God bless him, why not push everything onto NPCS? Chu Guang said that he was counting on the guy and walked away. Great, another problem solved. 
And since the food situation is now settled, should he invite more players to increase productivity? Chu Guang thought that only with the help of labor would he be able to complete the planned construction by the end of the month. Then he heard someone's screams of satisfaction and saw two players running towards him. They asked him to look at something. Chu Guang was stunned to notice that it was silicate cement. Since this was a test batch, they didn't do much. Judging by the volume of the stoves filling whole, it won't be possible to make half a ton per day of labor. The white foal said, maybe the quality is far from what is made in production shops, it can still be used. To accelerate the temperature, they had to work hard with their hands. We had to throw coal constantly, they can't feel their hands anymore. Chu Guang said that they did a great job. This cement is a huge step in the development of civilization. Everyone will receive a thousand points. The men screamed with joy as their hard work paid off. One of them said that he had a goal to earn a million and achieve financial independence in the game. Chu Guang thought intently. Recently, he gave them a lot of currency. This could lead to inflation and affect their gaming life. He thought this was a great chance to reduce the amount of currency in their hands. Maybe introduce a Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune slot machine wasteland. Chance of getting a virtual girl 5%. How about 1,000 contribution points per attempt? Chu Guang grinned. When he was thinking about how to do this, one of the players approached him and said that since they managed to create cement, they would need labor to begin building the outpost. Chu Guang asked how many people he would need. The white foal shouted that at least 10, but in general, the more the better. Their oven is completely manual, so you need at least two people to work in shifts. They'll be building a second oven soon, so they'll need four people. A construction company needs at least four people to transport building materials. The rest will build houses, so at least eight more people are needed. Chu Guang wondered in shock, so they need at least 16 people. The food they have is only enough for a week, and that is enough to feed seven people, including himself. If their number doubles, he doesn't know if they will be able to pull it off. Chu Guang hesitated. It's already the ninth day. Almost a third of September has passed. If they don't work harder before winter, construction will definitely not end. He exhaled and said that he heard them. He would contact support, and in three days, they would send a group of new recruits to them. Let them join us. Indescribable joy appeared on the faces of the players after hearing this. The white foal exclaimed, This is great. With new people, it will be much easier to realize their ideas. The second player thought that everything was as he had expected. As expected, the authority of this NPC is completely serious. He is capable of influencing closed testing. It's exactly like the setting of early online games. It's like a huge computing machine. All content within the game is dynamic and generated by artificial intelligence. Wasteland Online is certainly such a game. His friend looked at the excited player with bewilderment. After some time, Mosquito in the toilet wiped the sweat from his forehead and said solemnly, The wooden toilet with an uncut end is ready. Scrambled eggs with tomatoes said it was cool. Finally, he won't have to do it while sitting in a squat. He almost lost his legs. Then Yan Feng appeared and shouted that he could no longer hold on. The players exclaimed, He's just in time. This wooden toilet is at his disposal. Let him try it out. Yan Feng thought that since the toilet is public, others will also use it. It's so unhygienic I can't stand it. He ran away and said that he would rather sit on his haunches than do this and disappeared behind the bushes. Scrambled eggs with tomatoes, I thought, what's wrong with that? It's just going to the toilet in the game. Then he heard someone call him. Then he turned around and saw Yi Wai approaching with a huge mutant fish. He shouted that they had succeeded. Seeing this sight, scrambled eggs and tomatoes' eyes widened. What is this? Yuai called him to come quickly, he was definitely showing off his catch, and threw the huge mutant right at the player's feet. Three days passed and finally they managed to catch something, he said, crying. Yan Feng asked, did he really deal with this mutant catfish himself? Yuai replied, wasn't he the one who ran to the toilet? Couldn't he have gone closer? Yan Feng was embarrassed and asked for forgiveness. At this time, scrambled eggs with tomatoes was discouraged. In three days of absence, he only caught one fish? And why is she dead? Yuai shouted an insult, but isn't this enough? He also complains about the quality. Three whole days have passed. Does he have any idea how they did it? Yan Feng and Yuai sat by the pond for three whole nights. Their legs almost became paralyzed. Yuai was worried whether the new trap would work. Then they felt the rope move at their feet and noticed that something had pecked at their trap. There was a huge fish in the net. Suddenly, a warning signal appeared above Yuai's head. 
He stopped Yan Feng with his hand and said, he seemed to have a bad feeling. He rushed to the ground and covered Yan Feng with himself. It seems that huge birds are also hunting fish. As soon as they flew away, the players quickly pulled out the fish. But she turned out to be surprisingly strong, so that the birds would not notice them. They had to calm her down a little. Yui added, then they brought her here. How does scrambled eggs with tomatoes think this is edible? The cook thought that he had been cooking most of his life, but this was the first time he had seen such a huge catfish. Yes, he weighs at least 100 pounds. The head alone is the size of a pelvis. Yui leaned over and said, maybe they should smoke it. Scrambled eggs with tomatoes, I thought. Who would even think of smoking catfish? This fish is too fatty and slimy. It's too troublesome, and he's not sure what will happen. Yan Feng asked what to do then. He noticed that first it was worth at least trying, but he thought that such a huge carcass would definitely crush the smokehouse. The idea of such a situation did not make him happy. And after much thought, the only dish that came to his mind was catfish head soup. They don't have tofu, nor do they have cooking wine, ginger, or garlic, so he couldn't get rid of the fishy smell entirely, but he used salt and soy sauce. Yuwai looked at the plate with emotion, it smells fine, but what about the taste? The players tried the dishes, their eyes widened, how delicious finally normal food was. They ate with tears in their eyes, it was much tastier than the NPCs. Chu Guang was clearly hurt by these words. In the wasteland, it is already 6 o'clock in the evening, and in the real world, it is 6 o'clock in the morning. Players should be offline, it's time to recruit new players for them. Chu Guang sat down at the computer, new players are needed to quickly finish building the shelter. Large scale update Alpha 2 a new wave of closed beta testing. The number of players will be expanded to 30, he thought, as expected, as soon as the news of the new set appeared, the discussion immediately came to life. In the chat, users immediately began to discuss this. How did the number of applications exceed 100 and where is there so much online? Chu Guang sat in front of the monitor and thought about who he should choose. The main update included a player count of 30. The Winter is Coming package is available online. Within 30 days, it will be winter. And within 60 days, the temperature will drop to 10 degrees. Players who can survive the cold and whose time online exceeds 4 hours will receive the exclusive title of Winter Warrior. If the test fails, the game server will be turned off, and testing will be restarted after changing the difficulty settings. Optimization has added realism to physical interaction, new types of mutated creatures, more gaming freedom, and several bugs have been fixed. Players who have updated the game to the new version have been sent a manual by email that they need to read. The number of applications submitted was 111. Right before Chu Guang's eyes, this number changed to 113. Great, a couple more new players after the update. Where did they all come from? On the online discussion, not so much. Can a second account be used? No, this is not possible on the official website. Changing the IP address won't help either. The system selects applications very efficiently, by the way. It's worth checking out the official forum. There are probably more new players there. Chu Guang clicked the mouse button. In the chat, players discussed the emergence of a large number of new players. Others asked what kind of game this is. Is it interesting? The user quit smoking wrote that new players should not ask such questions and should stop applying. Chu Guang thought, what's wrong with this user quit smoking? After a long time, the forum has finally become active, but he is ruining everything. This is definitely not an isolated case. Chu Guang quickly calmed down and exhaled, realizing that after surfing the forum he roughly understood where so many new users came from. Someone took and transferred a screenshot from the official chat on the forum to other groups, and then Wasteland Online, which only had an official website, gained varying degrees of popularity in different circles. Many new users simply asked stupid questions and only briefly discussed all the features of the game. The questions were really stupid. What kind of game is this? Is it possible to undress in it? When will the testing take place? What if there is censorship? Chu Guang wondered if he should hire a couple of moderators for such cases. It seems the forum is quite lively today. I wonder what issues they are discussing. The group was completely focused on talking about the Alpha Zero 02 update and the addition to the game Harsh Winter is coming. The game is still in testing, but there is already an expansion. This is outrageous, let them open more places. One of the users was even willing to pay for it. Chu Guang was furious, this quit smoking user is at him. Chu Guang noticed a new private message. It's not evening yet, is he here? Something confused him, 
So he decided to ask about the NPC administrator, is he a real person or artificial intelligence? He quickly added that if the question seemed inappropriate, he should just ignore it. Chu Guang replied that everything is fine, this is not official information and people in such a minor position as him do not have access to such information. Chu Guang replied that the NPC is special. The player beamed he was special, which meant he was not so simple. He wrote, can you be a little more specific? Chu Guang thought for a while and wrote that the administrator represents the first generation of full-fledged artificial intelligence developed by their company. Wasn't evening shocked yet, a full-fledged artificial intelligence. This is beyond his knowledge, but how cool. Chu Guang continued, yes, this artificial intelligence is as close as possible to a person. It has its own personality, memory, way of thinking and value systems, behavior patterns, so they made it the leader of the players. Evening had not yet exclaimed how right he was. No wonder his decisions affect testing. He noticed that the lore of the game was quite well developed, as if it were in the real world, and even such a picky person as he could not find errors in the game. The only drawback is the small number of NPCs. He then thought that there was a possibility that the test was not related to the game itself, but to artificial intelligence, even Winter is Coming, which will appear in the new update, was created for this, is he right? He was pleased with himself, because he had figured out the developer's plans. The guys on the forum are wondering why the company decided to release a new update during closed testing, but all their speculation is too superficial to be true. He sent his guess, writing that at first glance, this is a simple test, but in fact the developers are testing the function of how artificial intelligence performs its tasks in the game itself. And this new update, Winter is Coming, was also created for just such a test. Chu Guang became wary. This guy is really talented. His nonsense sounds quite convincing. He looked at the folder on his desktop called New Players Ramblings. At this time, Not Evening was grinning and thought that Chu Guang had not responded for quite a long time, so everything was as he had expected. Chu Guang wrote that the guy is quite smart. He's right, the new update is intended to test the performance of the artificial intelligence they developed and begin a new phase of testing. Not evening asked yet, because successful testing affects the development of the plot, right? Chu Guang responded positively. Not yet evening replied that he understood everything and apologized if he bothered me. Everything that Chu Guang told him, he will keep everything secret. He smiled widely. Chu Guang was exhausted and wondered if he should have gone on like this. This will be a lesson to him. In any case, he needs smart players and his next step is to recruit new ones. He left the administrator's room. In front of the players, Chu Guang gave an inspiring speech. The leaves are turning yellow, the temperature is dropping, a crisis is just around the corner. Winter this year will be much harsher than last year and will also come earlier, so there is not much time left for preparation. They must use every minute to prepare. We need to do this before it's too late. The players listened to him carefully. Chu Guang continued to say that the mission panel had been updated, listing essential items, construction projects that needed to be completed, and a list of rewards. It is important for players to remember that only together they can overcome difficulties, winter is coming. This is a real test for everyone. Chu Guang was more serious than ever. Facing the enthusiastic gaze of the players, he gave a passionate speech and officially launched the first closed testing expansion, Winter is Coming. With the opening of a new chapter, the atmosphere both in the game and on the forum has changed greatly. And it's not just the players, there's something about that cool air. The supplies they had from the very beginning were not particularly generous. The population would grow from 6 to 30 people, meaning to feed the 30 players who were about to arrive, he was busy from early morning until late at night, killing monsters. Yiwai hunted with special dexterity so that they could stock up on as much food as possible. Fortunately, the results were very encouraging. In three days, they killed more than ten mutant hyenas. Countless hares and squirrels fell into their traps. They are also mutants, but still edible. In addition, Yiwai, who is responsible for security and searching for enemies, was finally able to increase the first level. He was incredibly happy about this. Chu Guang felt that a breakthrough was just around the corner, but improving administrators had its own characteristics. He still had not figured out the secrets of promotion. So now you can only rely on inspection equipment. Progress has indeed increased slightly. It has already reached 52%. On the other hand, the rest of the players had very exceptional skills, which helped them improve faster. The guys used charcoal as the main raw material for the furnace.
They were able to extract slag from iron-containing waste, such as rusty rods of car parts. They added this slag to the furnace and mixed it with limestone. This way they managed to achieve a more durable formula. This is hard work, working with a stove, carrying materials on carts, everything requires a lot of physical effort, but it was because of physical exertion that the white foal was able to increase his level to the second. His characteristics also increased. As for it's not evening yet, which works all together with him, then he managed to break through to the first level, his strength did not increase much, but his agility did. Stat leveling is very different from genetic leveling on a use it or lose it basis but one of their comrades is perhaps the saddest example among the four players. Yan Feng is perhaps the only one who was never able to rise above level zero. These days, with the help of the best trap, he has caught a lot of fish, but he still does not have enough points to raise. The experience points obtained for hunting with traps are not as great as those that can be obtained from direct combat. This worries him greatly, but unfortunately there is no solution yet. The new players are also very motivated. They worked tirelessly for several days. For example, the mosquito in the toilet continues to improve in the art of carpentry. From time to time, it helps the guys fix something or create a new trap. In addition to this, he also has his own mission. It seems that he is going to build a simple house made of wood to use as a warehouse and laboratory. These days, he managed to collect a lot of different cans, which he placed next to the house. Even though Chu Guang doubted the safety of this building, looking at how much he liked this business, he decided not to interfere. Compared to this, scrambled eggs with tomatoes really stands out. He is not only responsible for preparing food, but also helps the administrator. His main struggle is the fight against smoking. Since salt at the outpost is a real luxury, he resorts to other methods. He is forced to use the most primitive method of smoking, otherwise there would be no food. He hangs the meat and sticks it in a small oven made of clay and bricks using charcoal for flavor, slowly cooks the meat over the fire, drying out the moisture before covering the hole with pine branches. This meat is very similar to dried meat. It can be stored even without salt. When winter comes, the meat can be wrapped in cellophane or bark and buried in the snow so that it can be stored until next spring. But what Chu Guang prepared in a similar way is not easy to taste. By the way, in addition to meat, he also uses skins to cultivate them. Tanning is a complex and tedious process, much more so than making jerky. But now they don't need perfect treatment, they need something that will protect them from the cold. In general, they don't care about quality, so they skip some processes. After work, White Full has a lot of potassium water left over, which he stores in plastic barrels. Scrambled eggs with tomatoes, it is used to tan the skin, which is removed from animals and washed thoroughly beforehand. After impregnation, he stretches the leather to dry, so he gets a piece of leather of very good quality. Scrambled eggs with tomatoes turned to the administrator. He wanted to inform him that he could no longer do it. He needed at least one pair of hands to help. His gaze fell on administrator Yi standing behind him. This guy pretends to help the administrator with the loot, but in reality he's just messing around, why not help him? Yi spread his hands and asked him not to look at him like that, he was very busy himself. Yi thought where else he could find an NPC with the help of which he could level up so quickly, he didn't give up on cooking, he grinned. Scrambled eggs with tomatoes is angry, what a freak he is. Chu Guang joined the dialogue and said that Yi is helping with the search for prey, his skills are very necessary to avoid getting into trouble. Therefore, he cannot give it away, but promises that he will soon solve his problem. New players are on their way and will be here soon. Scrambled eggs with tomatoes sadly replied, Well, thanks for that. That would really be great. He added that no matter how hard he tries, he can only process leather in a basic way, but he doesn't have the slightest idea how to make clothes out of it. Chu Guang said not to worry about it. Among the new players, there is someone who can help them with this. He will assign this person to make clothes. Chu Guang told the player not to worry, they will not only have a tailor. Among the new testing players, there are talents in various fields, although not all of them are non-professionals, some of them are students, but in any case, they will be useful. Either way, the internet is cool and has big bets on eager new players. If they work hard enough, sooner or later, he will build himself a huge house. That's great. On September 12 at 6 p.m., the day of the server opening finally arrived. The man was lying on the bed in a gaming helmet. He said that these three days were so tiring. 
You need to follow the instructions, put on your helmet, lie down on the bed, and close your eyes. Is that all? He was a player named Knife Thrower Saving Others. The loading began, and now he woke up in the game. At first, he didn't even understand where he was. These sensations are so realistic that he feels cold and some kind of unpleasant smell. He turned his head and saw a huge lizard next to him. He shouted, what kind of freak is this? The player asked who he called a freak. The knife thrower asked in disbelief, who is this NPC? The lizard replied that he was not an NPC, but a player. His name is level 99 garbage collector. He should ask who this man even is. The knife thrower exclaimed, so he is the garbage collector. He's the thrower. He joined them a couple of days ago. Then why is he so scary? The reptile man replied that the knife thrower himself was scary. Then he turned his attention to his body. Some parts were missing, then got worried. The knife thrower asked, stunned with his appearance, is this the only thing that worries him? If he doesn't want to be a lizard, they can change. The garbage collector asked to leave him alone. He walked up to the capsule and said, on the official website, it says that the sleep capsule connects to a body scanning device and you can see your characteristics. The system window showed that the main characteristics of the reptile man were strength 8, agility 7, constitution 8, perception 8, intelligence 2. He was surprised. What about his characteristics? He remembers that they wrote on the site that the minimum value of an adult male's indicator is 5, and the deviation is plus or minus 2. He is an adult male, with the exception of a low intelligence indicator, the rest are extremely good. To be honest, he doesn't consider himself a smart guy. Even if the ache isn't too high, it doesn't bother him at all. Looking at the player's glee, Knife Thrower asked him if he was okay. The garbage collector showed a thumbs up, everything is cool. It's time to get out of this room and meet other players. You shouldn't keep the administrator waiting. He headed towards the exit. The knife thrower drew attention to his back. He said there was something stuck there. The reptilian man turned around and saw that it was not just paper, but something waterproof. A strange text was written on the paper, incomprehensible to both. After leaving the room they met with other players. The garbage collector has received a lot of attention. This man is a lizard. You could choose your race, that's too much. The players surrounded him. The knife thrower standing next to him was embarrassed and said that he did not think that he would be so popular. The garbage collector leaned over and said that he would protect him. The knife thrower recoiled. The smell from this guy was simply unbearable. Apart from him, all the other players are ordinary people. Judging by their physique, they all have approximately the same basic indicators, including strength, agility, and intelligence. What surprised him most was the presence of two girls players standing on the sidelines. It looks like they have some kind of conflict. A tall, beautiful girl shouted whether her opponent was too small. A short girl with ponytails called her too tall and hit her in the chin with her head. Some time ago, intelligence player Teng Tang came out of the capsule. Is she really in the game? The feeling is too real. She can't wait to try out the transformation that the developers wrote about on the website. There are probably several capsules here, you need to look around. She ran out the door, there were a lot of guys playing in front of her. Then her gaze fell on a tall girl who stood alone. Tang Tang thought, you don't see girl players very often, she's so tall, exactly 1 meter 80. Tang Tang turned to her, saying that she saw a girl standing here alone, it seems they are the only girls here. We should introduce ourselves, Tang Tang introduced herself first. The girl replied that her name was Yaya. Tan Tan looked around and said that they were all dressed the same. I, I looked at myself, these must be newbie clothes or something like that. Tang Tang thought about it, it's not that simple. Based on her experience in sewing clothes, she can confidently say that the material here is unusual. This material seems to protect against cold and wind. This fabric is much more advanced than anything she has ever worked with. She grabbed the belt on her jacket, but here the material is different. Was this done intentionally? Suddenly, not an outfit changed to a tight suit. Tang Tang was confused and asked, What is this device on the clothes? I looked at the girl's chest and grinned. Tang Tang clearly didn't like this. She must be laughing at her breasts. She hates when people laugh at her breast size. Tang Tang shouted, Why is she laughing? She grew breasts, but no brains. I said with a little irritation that she didn't even have a hint of breasts. Where did it all go? Did it go somewhere else? But apparently she has nothing, poor child. She pulled on the belt, the suit hugging her body. I, I proudly said that I am proud of my big breasts. The girls continued to insult each other. I said that this was all her imagination was capable of. Is she in elementary school? 
Tang Tang laughed evilly. She is the director of a fashion design agency, and at least she can be useful in this game. I laughed. How is she a director? And what is her company name? Tan Tan replied that it was none of her business. The knife thrower stood among all these raging players and thought, is he in a game or in a madhouse? Then Chu Guang appeared and shouted for everyone to shut up. All the players were inspired, is this really an NPC? Opening scene, it must be the administrator. The knife thrower thought, even though he was playing for the first time, he had been following the news on the official website for a long time, so he was familiar with the lore. Chu Guang said welcome to Shelter 44, he is the administrator. Codename Dong. The players listened to him in silence. He began to speak, but then he noticed a reptilian man standing behind everyone, and thought, what is this? Why is there a representative of a different race here? Judging by the stupid expression on his face, it must be a player, then there is nothing to worry about. He is afraid of those who may be hiding in the shadows, but this guy is clearly not one of them. Besides, he only needs a few seconds to kick one of them out. What will they have time to do in that time? Chu Guang will deal with this lizard later, let's get back to the story. Chu Guang said that he had to tell them good news, the war is over, but the bad news is that their world has changed beyond recognition. If they plan to pack up their things and go home, he will immediately say this is impossible, now it is the 200th year of the end of the world, but fortunately the most difficult years are behind. They are more fortunate than 12 billion people, he needs them to realize the situation in which they find themselves as soon as possible. They have a great mission to restore their home. This creature next to him is his assistant seventh. If they have any questions, they can ask them to him. Chu Guang thought that this was a standard opening statement. He had said this before. When the next batch of players arrives, he will simply repeat this again if no errors occur. He continued to speak. In addition, the directory of residents of the shelter has been updated to version 2 though. It includes rules for requiring public order and prohibitions, so the administrator advises you to reread it from time to time. Residents who violate the rules will be expelled and banned, although of course he hopes that this will not happen. All the players were surprised, I thought, does this NPC have too much power? Chu Guang thought that since they were tested, it means they were familiar with the rules, besides, the rules are not particularly strict. They are mainly associated with confrontations between players and harassment of other players. Restrictions have been placed on malicious sabotage and destruction of game objects. Most normal players will find these rules reasonable. He took some points from the discussion of the players themselves and simply supplemented them a little. Their ideas were pretty good, especially for sandbox games, such as not allowing players to destroy other players' work. As he said earlier, he not only accepted the offer, but also added to it. For example, malicious damage to objects will be punished by forced labor, which will not be paid. This is quite smart. He left the shelter with 24 players and took the elevator to the surface. The garbage collector said, this is really a game world, how cool. The players looked around and were clearly shocked. Chu Guang thought how they wanted to say that they were rejoicing early and smiled. He introduced the players to the main facilities of the outpost, especially emphasizing that defecation near the outpost is prohibited, after which he handed them over to the hands of the white foal and his friends who were waiting for them. A construction site is a place where people are always needed. There is no point in worrying about not finding a job for someone. Veteran players will show them what to do. Some were forced to carry bricks and build walls. Others were taken to the site to transport various raw materials for cement. For every hour of work, they received 10 contribution points, although they do not yet know what these points are needed for, the players are very motivated. So, without wasting any time, everyone got to work. Of course, not everyone was involved in construction. Procuring supplies, tanning fur, fishing, hunting, and everything requires people. For example, the player Yaye was appointed as a collector. She belongs to the perception system. Although her base stats are slightly lower than UI's, her perception stats are 6, but she has the basic talent of toxin intuition. These players sense poisons instinctively, without having any special knowledge. As immunity develops, the effects of poisons on the body will decrease. In addition, perception indicators increase the effectiveness of this talent, she is simply an ideal collector. In addition, they have a reptilian man. Chu Guang stood in front of this strange player, so is he going to level 99 trash? What a strange name. The lizard confirmed and thought, is this piece of paper really a hidden mission? 
He turned to the administrator and said that he found this note after waking up. He handed it to Chu Guang and added that he couldn't make out anything. Could the administrator tell what was written here? Chu Guang felt sick from the smell, but he thought that the paper was a little damp, as if it was lying in water, but at the same time it was not completely soaked, as if it was made of a special material. The text looks familiar. It is written in the language of this world. His eyes opened wide. Chu Guang asked where the garbage collector got this. The lizard calmly replied that he got it from his back. Chu Guang was shocked. The garbage collector immediately came to his senses and said that he noticed this when he woke up. Chu Guang said that everything was fine. He was just asking. It was written on the paper that he had won a prize. This is the clue that was left for him. Among the players, there are guardians of special genes. In fact, it happened by accident. He was not going to admit his own mistake. Can't this be called part of natural selection? By the way, should we call it a special species? It is not important for him to decide for himself what to call himself signature, first generation administrator. Chu Guang thought that he must be crazy, but you can't use a bad word for a dead man. Let's see what kind of talents this player has. His strength and physique are incredible. The garbage collector easily surpassed Chu Guang with his fifth level. Regeneration and composure are very practical talents, even if he has debuffs like slow pumping, but these are not critical flaws, so they won't be a problem. From this day forward, they will hunt together. The reptilian man replied that he would be happy to serve the administrator. Chu Guang asked him to wait outside. He needed to deal with something. He would come over soon. The garbage collector replied that he was listening and ran away. Chu Guang heard his name called. He turned around and was surprised. What's with her clothes? Why did he and Yaya wear such tight-fitting clothes? A confused Tang Tang stood in front of him.